Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Dice Cold for episode 79 of On the Backs of Gods. I am your DM Jillian, and we have our players today, same as I always. We have Kyle, Mac, Josh, Abby, and Christo. Um, sadly, our cleric is a busy guy, but you know, I will be sure to ruin Tordrick's day as much as I possibly can. Uh, okay. That is my promise to you all as a viewer. Um, <clears throat> anywho, um, I think we're going to jump just straight into it. I'm going to give us a quick recap, and I think we're ready to go because we left off in a pretty fun spot. Uh, the party is currently following a prophecy um, given to Saga by her goddess, who she is currently considering leaving in the dust at some point, um, mm. sort of weighing her options. Maybe she'll stay, maybe she'll go. Uh, just sort of depends on the moment and what she feels, I suppose, what's best for her in the long run. On the way to this lighthouse, which is composed of the leg bone of the god Loki, who died in the war, uh, has been converted into a big, beautiful lighthouse with a lot of lore about it, and nobody can agree on the lore. Um, while you are in town, near the northern edge of town, you meet an old friend, Bragi, the actual literal god who um, you all saved from eternal captivity, uh, who seemed at the time to be doing very well um, when you arrived at his place of business, um, singing a beautiful song that he had written for Saga, who saved him. Uh, and Saga then later realizes that the fresh, happy, flush face is glamour, and he has not slept in months, he has not eaten, um, and is struggling alone. He can't stay inside for extended periods of time. It is near impossible to live currently. Um, him and Saga talk about her choices to be made and Bragi says he will be there to support her no matter what she chooses and no matter who she is. You all gather your things the next day. You head to the lighthouse, which Bragi advises you not to stay for as short, for, to stay as long, short as possible. There are many cats surrounding this area of town, just an astronomical amount of cats. Um, and as your prophecy says, you stand before the lighthouse, looking around plenty of signs that say, don't climb the outside, don't destroy things. We'll give you a big fine or put you in jail. That's the energy. And with some go-getter energy, all of you make your way into the lighthouse. And with the lore that the steps are different every time you count, some of you begin to count as you make your way up I would love the marching order. Canonically, <laughs> Gorbjorn is at the front and Tordrek is right behind him. Where's everybody else? Hmm. Um, I'll go next. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I stopped for a moment to check to see if they were... I checked the cat situation because mm -hmm. I was a little worried, so I might be holding behind a little bit. Okay. Nana will be kind of like hanging towards the back just so that she can... Keep uh, keep an eye on the party as much as she can. Okay. Yeah, Fen Fen will probably just follow Roshan up to keep in pace. Okay. Fen, um, Nana, would you wait for Saga, or Saga, yeah. or are you or are you really diddly dolly in? I'm probably it's probably Nana in the back, and then I'm right cool. in front of her. Saga, and then yeah. yeah. Nana. Nana would be like, just waiting on Saga, and once Saga's done checking out the cat situation, then Nana follows her up. You all begin your way up a narrow, spiraling tower. Um, the lighthouse is very tall. You assume it's, it's about 300 feet up. <laughs> the corridor is very narrow. The steps are a little uneven with the little pock marks in each one. But you make your way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gorbjorn and Tordrek at the front, at the at the front, at the front, at the front, at the front of the group. Um, <laughs> they seem to be walking pretty slow. They are leading you guys up very slowly. And it could be because um, Gorbjorn's a big dude and it's a small <laughs> corridor. And it yeah. could be because Tordrek's legs are half the size of y'all's legs. 
<laughs> and it could be because Gorgon can't remember his numbers. I mean, he's like, you know. he stops and he's like, give me half a second. I was ten, like, I just ten, need to ten, carry ten. the 10. <laughs> yeah, 10. 10. Uh, you can How many t- times have I said 10? Uh, I only could do 10 tens. Any more than that, and I'm out. Uh, 15, 16, 24, 37. Um, you all continue upwards, and it's a slog. Eh. 70, 75. Who is um, Roshan and Gorbjorn make perception checks, please? Oh boy. Um, 12. Next. Um, Roshan, uh, Torchic's right in front of you. 321, 322, 323. He is on a much higher number than you are currently. You have Uh-oh. almost broken 100. He seems to be on a completely different number by a lot, by a very long shot. Um, as you hear him, um, Saga and Nana, um, you're making your way up and Nana, you hear it first and it's a sound that eventually catches up to everybody. Uh, the tippy tap of feet on the stairs below you. Um, mm-hmm. Tap, 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 tap. Seems to be going at a much more rapid pace than you guys are currently going, but it's not inhuman. Um, Nana eventually uh, comes into view. Uh, you see a young woman who is making her way rapidly up the steps. She is wearing a nice blue dress, her hair braided and back, um, just a big smile on her face, wide pale eyes. And she like gives you a wave real quick and like sort of turns sideways to like shuffle up past all of you. Sorry, sorry, one second, excuse me. Make a path, make a path up there. Um, she starts to move, she gets past Nana and she stops in front of Saga. That is so pretty. And um, she like reaches forward and like kind of flicks with her finger, um, your braid that has the um, Bragi clasp on it. That's so cute. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, Where did you get it? Oh, I could buy like 10, 20. Oh, it was a gift. I don't know. I I think it was like, um, probably maybe, uh, maybe made it. I don't know. Do you know the artist's name? I'm willing to pay. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't. Uh, she looks at you for a moment. I'd love you to roll a deception check. I mean, I don't know the artist's name. That's true. I don't know who made it. I don't know if Broggy made it or if he got somebody to make it. <laughs> He's like, I he honestly have no it. idea. <laughs> um, then I'll just let you roll persuasion. Okay. Just, we'll go casual persuasion then, because you're just unsure. Um, 13? Um, she takes a gander at you. Smiles again. Okay. Uh, excuse me. And she begins to continue her way up, moving sideways. Uh, she kind of just gives like a little wave to each person as she goes up. Um, Please don't touch me. Person. Don't want to. And she continues up and past um, and quickly out of sight, um, just very quick on her feet, moves ahead of the group and um, Tordrick at the front, you see her and then she's spiraled once and then fully out of view. You can hear the tip tappies slowly getting away and three, four, Five, you all continue making your way upwards. What is time? You know? Uh Uh-oh. 70, have I said 70 before? Where, and it's just, some of the numbers repeat in your head and you continue up and it's like, Roshan, you can still hear Tordrick. 1,134, 1,000, and then say, oh, no. um, and then you hear Tordrick uh, and Gorbjorn tippy tappies coming from the top downwards. And that young woman comes into view again um, and 
presses like against the side, excuse me, um, and makes her way down. She is flush in the face. Um, her braid is messed up and she is currently like fixing the button on top of her dress. Excuse me. And she is just sidling sideways going back down the tower. Can I ask as she goes past, um, do you mind if I ask what you're what you were doing up there? Cruel persuasion. Ooh. I was Go like, she it. had a quick attendance. 25. Um, she looks at you and gives you like a little <laughs> wink. Um, and then continues down. Uh, <laughs> Suck on the door. Um, How did you get up so fast? <laughs> Already the tippy tappies, Nani, you can hear just the end tail of it as she continues downwards. Um, wow. How much further up is it exactly? She's gone and you just okay, softly say to the group yeah. and it sort of echoes a bit through the corridor. 300, 301. 302 somebody in their mind says 70 again and they're like shit i'm so off on the number 70 70 70 shit um as you continue upwards um roshan <laughs> it becomes disheartening to listen to tordrek's number and oh. he seems incredibly disheartened um he's just oh, no. this is this is a lot and he kind of like um, coughs a little <laughs> my God. uh do you do you want me to take the lead uh, he sort of shakes his head <laughs> and he <laughs> just keeps pushing on. It's a good thing that Dordrick is going, or Gorbjorn is going at a very slow speed. Um, anybody faster at the front, Tordrek probably would struggle. Um, continuing up and up and up and up. Tip, tap, tip, tap, tap. Coming from below you again. What? <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Um, this woman comes back up her hair back in the immaculate braid, a uh, big smile on the face, and a large stomach out to the front. Excuse me, as she like turns sideways, I oh. gonna need a little extra space, uh, as she continues to make her way up past all of you again. How long has it been since we saw you last? <laughs> she looks at you, gives you another wink, and like <laughs> motions to herself. <laughs> You guys love this place. Uh, and she <laughs> continues up past all of you, quick on her feet. And she is gone with the tip taps, just slowly echoing around. I'm going to Hunter's marker. Sure. <laughs> um, hey, guys. Yes, Saga. Saga. Uh, you know, maybe we should, you know, I don't know, like, count together or something, because this isn't working, I don't think. Well, I suppose, but it sort of depends on whose number we take as our go point onwards, unless we're just starting over in the middle. Oh, right. Um... Should we all like say our numbers to see how far we've gotten? Why? Why? Sure. That, that girl's been up and down twice now. Let's just move. Go. Come on. But, but, but it's, she had like, I, I think it's been like nine months. <laughs> so maybe, maybe That's it might be a good idea. We are moving so slowly that it might be nine months. Come on, let's go. No, no, I don't think that's a very good idea. Uh, you see Tordrek starting to get fidgety, um, standing in the stairwell. I, I, I also don't want to waste any more time. We have to do, we got to do something. Well, we can go fast if we just, if we just all say the number and then we pick one and then we start counting from there. Because it doesn't really matter if we count anyway, it was just a game. Okay, I don't want to start with my number. And you see he starts like fidgeting with his beard. It's 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 not a fun game. Let's stop the game. Let's just move. Gorbjorn, uh, can you carry him? He's ha he's obviously having trouble. He's slowing us down. Um, I'm, I'm, is it my fault that we're shoulder. taking so long? <laughs> no, Tordric, of course it's not. No, not at all. We're all uh, moving at the same pace. All right, while you sort this out, I'm going to move. 
well. I'll, I'll shout if there's anything I need your help with, but uh, and I, Fen just takes off. He's not waiting. Fen fully get- makes his way up and past very rapidly. Um, Torture's like, oh, okay, okay, and he starts trying to move again. Um, He's better off scouting on ahead anyway. Saga, what was your number? Um, um, Saga, you're like in the 300s. 326. Uh, Roshan, you're vaguely in a similar range. Oh, I, 331. Okay. Um, same for you, Nana. Really? Well, I'd actually gotten 342, but well, we're, we're all sort of in the same... Tordrick is wide in the eyes <laughs> and is now just pushing onwards, like, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. are you all right? Um, oh, no, it's, and you hear Tippy Tappy's coming from behind you. Uh, Fen's at the back of the group now. What is happening? Fen comes <laughs> at the back of the group. What? See, I told you it wouldn't work. We have to work together. How did he? Oh, did you but surpass behind- me? No! You, <laughs> you left! You went off and... Here, let's start on my number. I'm on one. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a good... That's that an easy... Good, that's a good number. As good as any. I was gonna say, like, 330, but that's probably easier if we just start at one. All right. All we'll right, just everybody. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Two. One. One. Two. Two. Three. three. Four. Four. And you all make your way up as quickly as you can, <laughs> uh, which is still a very slow pace. Tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. Coming from the top downwards, you see a woman in a blue dress, um, eyes full of tears, holding a small child on her hip. And she says, excuse me, coming through. And just hysterical, makes her way down rapidly. Well, are you okay? What, what happened? Is someone hurt? Um, she is by you as quickly as she can. And her cries sort of slowly pan off as she disappears down the stairwell. What is this place? She doesn't seem to want to help, let's just keep moving. I think it's gotta have like, well, it's supposed to be like trickery and stuff, right? It's gotta be trying to trick us. Yeah. I can only hope. It is, and uh, Bragi told us not to stay here for very long. Yes. Right. But I think we kind of screwed that up maybe. (laughs) <laughs> well, Who knows? well, it may be, it might be just that lady might not even be real. We don't know that. That's that's true. She might not be. Just but, because we screwed it up doesn't mean we have to continue to screw it up. Let's move. Let's. Fen, move. Fen, I'm going to need you to take a deep breath and not be so pushy. Uh, Roshan, I'd love you to roll insight while you turn and address Fen, who's a few people away from you, but you're like looking at him. Um. Seven. That's a nine. Nineteen. Oh, I just beat it. Well, oh, I was about to say just a nine. I just beat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bard. Hmm. Nailed it. Interesting. Um, DM whispers. Cordrick has already started moving again. Um, oh, I can't. We shouldn't stop moving, he's right. Um, but, okay, but we've been doing the same thing, and obviously it doesn't work, so we can't just keep doing the same thing if it doesn't work, though. But if we can't get out of here, we... I I left you behind and came up behind you somehow. You hear a choked sob from Tordrek after that sentence. Oh, oh no. We're, the tower oh. seems to be playing tricks on everybody. Um, yes. Everyone, let's join hands and take a deep breath okay um we'll get through this we're together and we just have to overcome the tower somehow it's an illusion right then yes we've got to see through it to the actual resolution whatever is preventing us from actually ascending the ta- the tower stairs there's got to be some I don't know, some way to turn the illusion off or counter it or something. Tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. You hear steps coming from below. Um, okay, Uh, um. mm Mm-hmm. 
quickly. Uh, uh, Tordrick, would you like to pray with me? Um, we have the we have the same emboldening bond feature, so I'm asking if he can do that one so that we can get everybody with that. Uh huh. If we can give everyone a blessing. <laughs> It'll be okay. I put my hands on his. All right. It'll be all right. Let's just mm -hmm. let's just pray. Yes. Okay. We'll be okay. Um, Oh, you guys are so cute. You see the woman walk by holding the hand of a toddler and making oh, her way up. I want to try to grab her. Oh. Um, go ahead and roll. This is going to be uh, acrobatics. This is not going to be strength based. If not, grab the child. I'm not one of you. Guys. We can't we cannot be the murder hope. I got to We're not going to murder. We never said murder. We said grab. That's very uh, different. Did you guys hear what he said? What did you say, Kristen? Um, I got a 10, yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Stop um, it's not um <laughs> she moves out of the way. You feel her arm physically touch your arm. Okay. And she continues up past um Can you give us any hints? We have an important person to meet. We'll be down in a little bit, hopefully. <sighs> and she seems worried, and she makes her way back up very quickly. Before she goes, can I wolf eyes and, like, try to look at her? Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There is half the moment where she is almost around the edge of this, or the bend of this spiral. Mm -hmm. um, she glows like a magic user. So like how you've seen your friends glow, and so does the child. Gotcha. And then you can see glowing from the walls and the stairs, and just a glow coming from behind you down in the like the dark part of the steps that you can't see. Okay, we're all together in this. We're bonded. Okay. Yes. Um. Does it, does it, should we say who we bond to the bond to just in case we somehow get split up or something like that? Because we have to be within 30 feet of the, of one of the people we're bonded to. Sure. Who would know. you like to be bonded to, Saga? I can do four people. So I will do, um, I'll just bond myself with Nana. Uh, I'll do Thorbjorn and Roshan right now. And then Tordrecht will bond to Fen. That's everybody. Well, you can you can do you can overlap. So like if because nope. if we get split up in a weird way, we can yeah. still possibly. He'll do Fen or Bjorn again, and he'll do Saga. Was that five? That's three for him. Oh, okay. So his is Fen Gorbjorn Saga. Yours is Nana Gorbjorn Roshan. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Um, he seems a little reinvigorated. The tears yes. in his also, eyes. We know that that lasts. We know how long that normally lasts. So that helps us keep track of time a little bit. When we feel it go away, then we know that it's been a certain amount of time. All right. Now, let's all walk. That's very smart. Um, yes. Um, all right. I don't know what number were you on? I was on 342. Yeah, I'm going to take a piece of chalk out of my bag and I'm going to write it on the stair 342. All right, let's move. Come on. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Moving slowly up the stairs. Tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. Couple sets of feet coming downwards. Um, you see. A woman with gray hair and a memorable braid holding hands with a man probably in his 20s. A bit more tan in the skin, dark curly hair, light eyes. Um, he's holding her hand and she is leading him um, down the steps. Uh, they kind of give you a nod and she's like, Excuse me, coming through. Yeah, but she's still nah, nah, she's old and weak. I try to grab her again. <laughs> okay, go for it. Acrobatics. <laughs> Ma'am, could you tell us how to get up to the top, please? What's your what? secret? Oh, I eat sir? two pine cones a day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me, That's sir. A deep cut. What did Five. we get? Sir? 
A five? You're so good. You, uh, you can add a d4, but... Oh, yeah, but it's yeah. it's not my <laughs> athletics for some reason. I have to, like, ninja jump around her to get her it's, for some reason. It's yeah. because of the narrowness of the corridor. It's mm. more about trying to finangle instead of manhandle. And if so I what hold do you my have? arms out like this, I am pretty much mad. You try to take <laughs> up as much of the corridor as you can. Her? And it is just not enough for these people going downstairs um, who slip right through. Uh, here, the man, pardon us. You feel him physically touch your arm as well. And they make their way downwards. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You all continue to walk. Tip tap, tip tap, steps coming up from behind. And the man is a little older and he is alone. Mm. Sir, will you please talk with us for just a minute? What he- stair are you on? <laughs> Tell me your stair number. <laughs> <laughs> um, he slows and goes in step with you, Roshan. Um, we've been struggling for hours to make it to the top. Um, is, is there a secret to this? Oh, what, do you, what are you here for? Um, we're secret. here secret? seeking uh, a man from a prophecy. That's interesting. And what gods do you bring with you? Um, That's complicated. Yeah, I worship the nine sisters. No, there's no hesitation. That is not yeah, a problem. There's that one. Um, he, Tor- Tortric is st- still moving. So you all are still moving. This man mm. is following in step. We bring uh, Lady Seder, uh, the uproar, and Gulve. And Bjorn, as I put on this crown. <laughs> <laughs> you put the crown on your hand to just tip. Um, and you just hear Tordrick. Oh my god, 1,617. Oh no. He seems very distracted by his number okay. at the moment. Okay. Um, oh, maybe. I, I don't know what to tell you. Which gods do you bring with you? Oh, I don't bring any. I, I was like, that's I, why you move so fast. Come on, let's go. Yes, no gods weighing them down. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any advice for us? Do you turn around at some point? Oh, you can't go back. That's not going to work. What number are you on? Oh, I don't count anymore. All right, let's all not count. <laughs> Counting's for birds. Do you do you walk, sir? Do you walk with a purpose? Is that is that what it is, or do you just do you just not think? Well, you're all walking with a purpose, a prophecy. How interesting. Yeah, we're not yeah. walking right now at all. We're no, we are crazy. actually. Yes, we walking. are. We are. We're not walking very yeah. fast. <laughs> we're walking. Yeah. Well, go run around again and come back behind us. Gosh. Like, what do you want? <laughs> I'll see you in the back again. Yeah. <laughs> and Fen's gonna, um, Fen's gonna take off upstairs. <laughs> he disappears up the spiral. Oh, if you excuse me. Um, he hey, follows he after was... Fen. What? What's what? going on there? What? Why is he so mad? I, um, I, I think the tower out. is getting under his skin. Oh. Really? Not badly. Nice. It's not Let's like catch it. up. Yes. Yeah. And no counting. No counting. I Perfect. think that might be best. You continue without counting. Tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. Uh, Fens at the back of the group again. Did I see the chalk mark that I left in the stairs? Um, you look. Um, go ahead and give me investigation as your uh, perceptions, because you don't you don't have time for investigation. You have very face. You got places to be. You got places to be, like at the end of the line. <laughs> Has it been 10 minutes or is he within 30 feet of us? It's a 24. Um, well, he's currently in your bond again. He's here. 
But there um, was a for his for his left. role, like the role he just did, if he can add a d4 oh. to it, because if it hasn't been ten yeah. minutes or if he stays within thirty feet of us the whole he can time. Add to it. Okay, oh. that's interesting. Interesting. So. You all don't know that. 25, not a 24. 25. <laughs> Slightly oh. better. One um, extra. One extra could make or break. Nope. <laughs> there is only up. Oh, there is no. no chalk mark. It is oh only Oh my scarce. god. No chalk mark to be seen um, <laughs> as you continue <laughs> up. No more counting. <laughs> it is focused on moving and walking up these stairs, there are no more tippy tappies, and nobody else seems to come to you as you walk with a purpose. Um, continuing forward, um, you can hear just softly in the corridor, um, Tordrick still murmuring to himself like he's trying not to count, but he can't help it. Oh, no. um, so um, he continues to count. And I, uh, I want to go up to Tordrick and, and be like, Hey, remember when we sang that song when we went down the stairs of, of Broggy's Temple and it was doing the, the the stairs were a piano? Why don't we try to do that? Why don't we try to sing the song while we walk? Maybe. Okay. That would be good. Okay. 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 <laughs> I want to just grab his hand and I just want to, like, try to be positive. Yeah, you guys sort of hum a little loudly as you make your way up the hum, sort of filling the space. Um, one, two, three. Um, I saw Fen first. Yes, Fen? Uh, so I hunters marked the woman who became an old woman who is now no longer present. If she dropped to zero hit points, that hunter's mark should have faded and been gone. Do I still feel that up anywhere or is it gone? It is no longer up. Okay. All right. Hmm. It's very strange. I hate to say this, but perhaps we should try turning around. Um, oh. If it gets um, you think that would work? Maybe we the, should... Uh, the man said there is no turning around, and if he's right, then perhaps that means turning around is a new path. Okay. Well, Where Drake turns around <laughs> I mean, and slowly just meanders into the opposite direction. There's got to be other many paths. It's the, I, I've come back behind you twice now. The, if it was one path, then I'd be far ahead of you and you'd be well behind me. But But I've come back around, so there must be corners of turns that we're not seeing somewhere. So if you go backwards and we go forwards, we should run into each other. Oh, worth a try. I, I do not want to be stuck here. But also, does everybody still feel blessed? Yes. I mean, there's, it feels like there's a connection, but you know. Okay. Maybe that's We're... just the love of the team. I I think I, 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 I'm going to believe that I still feel it. Um. So... I think that it hasn't even, that's a good thing. That means it hasn't even been 10 minutes. No worries, guys. It's just, it's just perception. It's fine. Let's, we can turn around for a bit. Um, see what happens. Let's try. Everything's okay. Um, Fen, are you going to be at the front now? Or are you going to go up and see if it's a weird meeting situation? Uh, Fen just wants to keep moving. So it probably depended on how long this conversation took because he probably... <laughs> Might have just started gone. walking one direction or the other by that time, anyways. Okay, Fen's already yes. gone, which is par for the course. Nana's of this. getting worried for this guy. Uh, this putting is... putting Nana at the front, people about face, and start making their way downwards. No, okay, I don't go down. Um, I go going around this spot. Are you going to go up? Yeah, I'm going to go up. Um, he watches you all go down for half a second. Okay. Shake of the head and then goes up. Oh. All right. Walking. So. Walking. Nana, you're at the front and you're listening out for anything. It's hard to not count steps, but currently you lead the group downwards at a 
slightly faster pace than the guys were doing, but not much faster. Yeah, I'm just trying to listen out for anybody coming tip tap tip tap up the stairs at us at or listening. coming up behind us. What is time? You don't know how long you've been walking downwards and you really, it's like a minute, an hour. Time is almost irrelevant. Have I felt the drop of the, um, of the bonus from Saga? You can roll Arcana to see if you can even oh. feel it. Um, oh, we'll during this out. point, Fen crosses y'all's path a couple times. Oh. Um, you eventually meet up with Gorbjorn again, who insists he go upwards and goes past you. Um, mm -hmm. What was it? Mine. Yeah, you're the only one. No, it was a four. I ain't oh, got no You have no clue. idea. You just trust the clerics clue. when they tell you something happened and you're like, but did you add a D4? Yeah, you could have added a D4 if you still oh, have it. Oh, shit. <laughs> could I have added a D4? Yeah, you can add a D4. Juncture. That's not hey. going to help you. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> you're still not going to know even though you still have it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> irony of ironies. Uh, like, once Gorbjorn. It's like it helped of, me, but hmm. I can't tell ran into uh, the group again. He actually just wanted to take out his sword and start swinging into the wall inside. Oh, um, I thought you were going to say the group. No. Oh, God, God. damn it. No. Yeah. You all are really halted gone. for a moment. Nana kind of is stopping in front of Gorbjorn as he begins to cleave um, at the walls. Um, just the sound of just like the clash of um, uh, steel on uh, bone. Uh, I, I don't think it will go well for us if we damage a relic of the past age. Uh, it right doesn't in seem to be damaging. Oh, oh well, I was well, going to listen to Nana and just scream like, Where are you, wizard? Show yourself! Um, just continues to swing. You all can see that nothing is happening. I'm pretty sure the wizard is Loki who is dead. Pretty sure. Um, it's, it's leftover influence of his, I guess. Roshan is going to turn to Saga and whisper, she's leading us to our deaths. Oh, who? What? Am I supposed to pass this message to the next person in line? What, what message? Why did you, why did you say that? Sorry, I, I was just counting. No, you weren't. You, you said you said a weird thing to me, though. What did I say? You said that she was leading us to our deaths. It was rather rather strange. I don't know who you were talking about, though. Who could she be? Do you think the woman who was coming up and down? Well, I mean, I don't know if it was that, or if it was supposed to be Lady Seder, or if it was supposed to be Nana, because she's on the front of the group right now. I don't know. <clears throat> Um, you, you could hear, and like, this is all muffled with the sound of Tordric counting softly and the sound of just weapon on bone doing nothing to these walls and the occasional tip tap of fucking Fen coming by. <laughs> 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 just continuing to move as best he can. Um, oh God, this is a disaster. Okay. okay. Um. Oh. Do you know what? Why you said that? Do you know? Maybe no. Do you know? What? Hmm? Oh goodness. Um. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. She's always gonna. Oh like... God! I just pick everybody up and start pushing them up the stairs. Of uh... course, <laughs> he begins to yell and just try to drive everyone back up. <laughs> Project turns and it's just like a sob as he makes his <laughs> turn oh. and he's just moved upwards. Um, oh, poor Torture. So, so I guess just going to try to calm herself down and remember that the upward roar is supposed to be all chaos and she's been considering her for a while. So she's just going to embrace the chaos and just go <laughs> with it and try to be calm. You're like, you take a deep breath. You're like, okay, this is fine. This is okay. Yeah. This is fine. Chaos is okay. Uh, yep. And, is um, it? after all of that, she, she realizes that no, it's not okay. Um, oh, <laughs> no. so, so it's, uh, I think, I don't know. I don't think, um, uh, actually, you know what? I have a good idea. 
Um, I'm gonna. What if we all can't see each other? That would be a good idea. So let's what? all split up. Yeah. Uh huh? <laughs> yeah, if we all can't see each other, then we don't know where we're on, and then we can all split up and go. Maybe it's the thing you have to go on your own journey. All right, I'll start. I go down. Saga goes down. Wait, um, what? Splits from the group and how do books we, it downwards. How do we decide no! on this? Wait, Saga! There's something Saga! down there! <laughs> uh, Gorbjord My yells journey. after you. <laughs> My own journey. No, you Saga, all? please, wait! It is as if six merry-go-rounds slammed into each other oh, as boy. people walk past each other. There's points. You're all walking in the same direction. All of you are going up. All of you are going down. Where's Saga? Where's Fen? Some points you're with somebody else and you miss them in passing and you just moves on and on. Saga, you feel just that tenseness in your body as you try to separate. And each time you run into somebody, there is a terror that fills you and you push on quickly past them or turn around and yeah. go back down or up. Everybody that tries to pass me though, I try to grab a big them go with me. <laughs> like I'm collecting <laughs> friends. Sorry, um, just dodge rolls around you somehow. <laughs> It is just truly a nightmare um, <laughs> as all of you continue to pass each other and try to talk to each other and grab each other and move. Oh. And it is just as chaotic as it could possibly be as Gorbjorn seeming now manic, trying to go <laughs> up, trying to move. Um, oh boy. At this point, nice. Sagi, you've just made it to the group again. Um, all of you are now in the same corridor again, um, as you all meet back up for the 20th time. Um, kill it! And I just nowhere. start hitting the bone again. Um, Gorbjorn screams, kill it, and starts swinging. Um, um, eyes fully focused on a spot, and you watch his eyes move upwards as he continues to swing and move after something. Uh-oh. Is it... Uh what do you see? Shut up. It's there. And then just like right here. And I just hit here. Like you all watch him. Can any of us wing see nothing. anything there? No, it's nothing. At it all? is a white wall. Roshan, is there anything hidden? Magical? Uh, Roshan is going to just take a seat on the stairs and start ritual casting detect magic. So like for a minute, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Shadow. Fen ducks Perfect. under the sword and goes up, and then he comes back down again. Fen is in constant motion. Saga, you're as far no. back from the group as you can be. Oh, um, yeah. You feel that you can calm yourself a bit, but it's still worrying you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be um, <clears throat> just where like I can see like a tiny corner of somebody's foot from around the corner, and mm -hmm. just sit and be like talk un under my breath, just being. Chaos is okay, chaos is okay, chaos is okay. Fen runs by you. Just, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh no. I'm just gonna sit and not think about anything other than that. Roshan, you take a moment. Mm -hmm. Focusing, focusing. And it's kind of hard to focus in here. Everybody's so loud. Um, but eventually- Nana after... will kind of cup her hands over his ears. Just kind of- I believe in you, please. <laughs> please, think of this out. Um, you assume enough <laughs> time passes. You said you're doing detect magic? Yeah. As your eyes darken and you scan the room. And as if he were standing there the whole time, sitting in the very thin windowsill is the man with the tan skin and the um, dark curled hair and the light eyes. And he's like, just sitting there watching you all. Um, <laughs> there are windows? The windows are like this big. They are, <laughs> they are not, you can't leave through the window. <laughs> it is impossible. <laughs> But just getting some bearing which what which side of the tower we're on, how far up we seem to be, anything. Um, you look out um from the window closest to you because this man's kind of blocking his. Um, it is foggy. You can see light, but that's about it. Um, so we can all see this now. Yeah, that you all see this spell. person. People who are struggling like Fen with your movement, you are able to slow for a moment. And like, be like, what the fuck is this? Um, um, anybody who had a, a is having a struggle is able to internalize it for just a moment. Uh, as the man sort of looks at you, Roshan, casting your spell. You all look rough. It's been a bit of a rough day. Could we? In a, a have rough a break? while, it feels That's like. That's true. Day. That's very true. Thirty years. That's give what or it's take. Felt like. Yes. 
Mm. What are we missing? Well, um, he like leans back all the way against like the window and looks down at Saga. Um, I smell a god on you. Who is it? I don't really know. Oh, uh, you can pull deception. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't okay. know. Oh, it could be. It could, no, no, it could be the emperor. And it could be Lady Sandra. It could be Broggy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, do you say those out loud? Yep. Yep. Interesting. S cycle back to the last one, Broggy. Is he your god? No, he's my friend. Oh, so you've seen him? Yes. Where? Why? Maybe I want to see him. Um, um, can, can you, no. We no. found him in a vault deep in the north, in the west, in the, in the west. Interesting. His current location? And he continues to like look at Saga and you can hear just like Tordrick like, <sighs> just like catching his breath and he's just like oh and you can see like he's taken out two of the statues of his goddesses and he's just holding them um, uh, uh are, are, are you the keep are you the keeper of this i'll be back when you're feeling more talkative and you watch as he goes out back through the window he's on the bar oh, please wait <laughs> he's gone okay, and okay. just like that things pick back up again um Gorbjorn, mm -hmm. does not get up he instead asks the shadow, what are we missing? You look around and you don't receive a reply. Great, great. I'm uh, in my anger. I'm just going to go like, now's not the time to talk to your shadow, Roshan. Uh, he says that <laughs> out loud and then continues on. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm going to try to... What do, uh, would talking to your shadow even do? What is that? Apparently is nothing. That... I'm gonna try to grab Tordrich when he runs by and I wanna try to cast heroism on him because he seems so scared. Um, yeah, there's- Poor boy. He seems to s kind of stick closer to you now. Um, there's still, a, there's a mania in the eyes, um, oh, which you've seen on a few of your companions' faces as they continue <laughs> up. He starts to stick closer to me. I'm like, thanks, but no, actually. No. <laughs> you try to move, he tries to keep up with you. <laughs> no. And oh, again, uh... whether you are moving or not, people are moving around you. Fen can only stand still for so long. Gorbjorn seeing things out of the corner of his eyes continues to swing and disappear around corridors, only moving upwards. Uh, Tordrek doing his best to stay with Saga. And you just hear, I don't want to be trapped alone, he says as he makes his way after you. Um, I just about surged, by the way. I was one away. Oh, that oh, would have been great. God. Yeah. Hey, but um, I definitely by the way, felt it. Um, increase your surge amount by two and not one. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. So your can, next can, can, one is can. now more likely. Four. Okay. Yes. Next one. On and on and on. People move, some don't. There are sounds people hear, some from below, some from above. They change direction or they continue towards it. It is unending. And um, so after you've like made your way around a corner and it's just like, um, you hear somebody sort of in step with you. Are you ready to talk or? Uh, um, uh, see, like, uh, why do you want to, what, what, what are you planning to do? What are you guys going to talk about? Well, maybe, and he like looks at you and you watch as one of his eyes rapidly floods through colors. He, and uh, it's just, and you watch it like the pupil, like grew big and small and the eyebrow shape change and twitch. And he looks to you. Maybe I just want to say hello. Um, and you watch just like the corner of the lip go up and they're chapped lips, not chapped. Um, big full lips, thin lips. It just goes between them and then settles back on the man's face. Can I insight check that? <laughs> I... You're welcome to. <laughs> oh, okay. Also feel however you want to about that Fen walks by again. Um, okay. God almighty. 
That tracks. Um, it's a six. Oh, you don't know. That's the weirdest yeah. shit. <laughs> it was, that yeah. That could be the weirdest shit that's happened in here today. It could be, uh, yes. Listen, it's just... And you watch as he, like, rubs at the side of his face and, like, hits it a little hard and you hear him, like, like wince and, like, inhale sharply. I, <laughs> maybe I just want to see him. I need you to tell me who you are, though. I need to. I need you. You need. You need to tell me who you are, though. See you in a minute. A year. Otherwise, twenty. Okay. Um, and he is no! up and around the corner. Uh, I'm sorry. She doesn't. She really doesn't want to. She really doesn't want to, though. Nana, a young woman is in step with you. Um, the woman with the braid. You seem to be handling it very well. Good for you, leader. Can you tell me where Broggy is? For what purpose? I will let you all leave. That's nice. What do you want with Bragi? Of course. And then she um, books it up and is gone from your Stop! view. Stop! She's gone. Ugh. Walking, moving, shadows everywhere. Gorbjorn, um, go ahead and roll me just a flat constitution, if you'd be so kind. Not a save and throw, just the, the usual kind. Um, um, if I tried a sending spell, would it leave the the building? You can certainly try. I do. Um, do I get my d4? Yeah. Ooh. Yes. It's uh, still not total. been 10 minutes. That's so whack, dude. Um, it, you can feel your body beginning to tire, but you do not take a level of exhaustion. Hmm. So you're just pushing through. You're like, but I got to kill whatever's in here. It's going to kill me and everybody else. I'm feeling very paranoid and I'm going to put on the cape of protection. Uh, All right. Oh you put on the crown and the cape and are the baddest bitch in this corridor. I'm, I'm, I'm still in my adventure gear, but I still got the, the, the prince swagger. Um, at this moment, um, Roshan, you're sending out the sending. Um, the woman um, now with like the large pregnant stomach comes in step with you, Gorbjorn. And when you swing, uh, kind of ducks under it like she was expecting it. Nah. Hey, I was just wondering. And you just watch as she like clenches and unclenches her fist. Where's Bragi? I want to roll to the <laughs> Yeah, roll to the <laughs> Go for uh it. I rage. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. There's a scream of anger that echoes through the corridor. And what does your rage do, good sir? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Is it Gorbjorn's or is it the <laughs> the ladies? It is Gorbjorn's at this time. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, oh. Chaos magic. Oh, no. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll talk to Roshan about sending real quick. Who are you sending a message to? Um, to Bragi. No, uh -huh. I know he can't. He can't receive. <laughs> oh, I was no, so excited for half a second. I was just like, "Yes, bitch." Um, <laughs> I'll send one to Egil. Okay, what does it say? Um, stuck in the Trickster's Lighthouse. When did we last speak? Oh. Um, Ooh. anything else? No, that's all I can come up with. Oh, man. Um, there's a pause. Uh, that, that fucking sucks. Um, <laughs> contact me if you need me to send someone, not sure what they can do. Um, a day, 10 days. Um, you hear three different answers. A day, oh. 10 days. I haven't seen you in years. Lovely. Oh no. Um, and back to Gorbjorn. What do oh, we got? No. So, I fucking love this. I, my <laughs> eyes can pierce through illusions. I gain true sight in the range of 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> what is that gonna do? Yes! Now make your attack. Yes! Oh yeah, reckless. Oh, that's a 19 <gasps> plus, so it's like 24 to hit. Uh, Roll about that. Um, go ahead and roll damage. Get it, bud. 
can add the d4 maybe to your oh. attack roll does it i mean you already hit oh yeah. no you have, we, i was just like we're already there yeah definitely yeah. hit let's hit more all right, I don't so, know if a okay, illusion, so that's 27 damage. Ooh, okay. You swing, hits into the arm, and you hear the crack of bone, and then you watch as the color spectrum of just anything a human or otherwise could possibly be spread across this thing. And you see that with, you can see the magics around you on the walls. You can see the chalk mark on the floor. You can see it now. Um, but this person does not change. I can attack. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, another 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Or 19 plus whatever my attack is. Uh, oh, but that's duty on the rolls. Uh, so that's 21 damage. All right. Um, it is just crack, crack, as just this arm is now bent at an extraordinary angle against the body. And um, the woman looks to you. Interesting. And um, makes her way quickly past you, disengages, oh goes up and disappears oh from your eyes. What the fuck? Um, Saga, um, there is a man gripping his arm walking alongside you. Oh, no. His eyes dart around the room and he kind of stops in front of you and like leans against the wall. I think we can both talk this out. If you can just tell me where Bragi is, I can promise you that I have no intention of running up there and stabbing him. Does that help at all? And you watch as just like there's a twitch of the neck and you watch and a couple of like Nana, you've come into view and R Roshan, you've come into view. Fen is currently just around the corner. Um, and you watch as this man just fully turns and slams his head against the wall. And it's just like oh. a soft sob comes from him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> it's getting to be a lot. Um. <clears throat> well, you see, that is not very specific as far as the things you're not going to do. That's one thing you're not going to do, and there's like a whole bunch of other things you could do. I could give you a couple worse. more things. Could you just say, like, you are not going to harm him in any way? I would never. That Unless he per chance was attacking me, can I have that caveat? He wouldn't do that, though. But but if he did and he like tangles his fingers into the dark hair and he just like tugs and like he lets go. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's a shared effect. <laughs> and he starts laughing. It's <sighs> um, Fen, you've arrived at the bottom. Gorbjorn, you've somehow come around on the top, but you're like, I was walking upwards. <laughs> and this man is just in the middle. Listen, tell me where he is. And then we can talk the rest out. Kill it! Um, you know, my friend might hurt you a lot more. And we're, 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 we don't look good, but I think we're okay. Maybe Do it's good for you. Do you think that I can't kill you? What's the fun in that? <laughs> well, then you'd never find out what the answer is, though. Um, if you did slams that. his fist against the wall. Uh, I will not harm a hair on Broggy's head unless he harms a hair on mine. And you won't magically make him harm you, right? Or Pinky promise, and his hand is just shaking terribly as he extends it. <sighs> I promise I won't do a thing. No magics, Pinky swear. Why are you so upset? Oh, well, and he like motions to uh, Tordrek, who is like stopped and slumped on the ground and is now just softly weeping. And Fen, who continues upwards, and Gorbjorn, uh -huh. who's swinging. Gorbjorn. I have to share. <laughs> it's not fair if it doesn't happen to me, right? <laughs> so if we all let ourselves fall into despair, you'll take on all of that. Oh, that I would just crush you after I got really, really fucked up. Am I, am I still near enough to talk to Corbjorn? Yeah, you, can, you can make size. your way to Corbjorn and like, he's, he's, he's a little quick on the draw, but. Corbjorn, 
how do you think it would make this man feel to be trapped in the same way that we are? I'm in just the same trying way, to in the same way that Froggy guy. was for thousands of years. You know, I can hear everything, 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 everything. All right, so he I have- He themselves on the cheek. Right, if you're not okay. ready, I understand, okay. I can go. Uh, just so you promise you will help if I tell you where he is. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. And I will he... take you up to my room. We will talk. It'll be fine. Everyone will calm down because we need to calm down, right? Okay. Okay. Are okay. you Loki or are you just a piece? Uh, he looks over at you. Do you know what it's like to be the marrow in your own bones? Can you possibly imagine how insane that is to stand inside of your own bones? Do we have a promise? Okay. Huh? I will tell you. Yes, I will tell you. You promise? I promise? Promise we're promising. And if anyone here lays a hand on me, ooh. That was never a part of it. That, torment. That was never a part of it. All I'm going to add it to up. Okay, then you can't hurt us either then. Oh, you're pretty good at this. You're <laughs> very good at this. And he like taps on the bone <laughs> and he runs his fingers through his hair and it like changes texture. Right. I don't hurt you. You don't hurt me. You tell me where Bragi is. I don't hurt him unless he hurts me. I don't use magic to make him hurt me and I won't hurt him in return. Outside, okay, he's outside. He's outside. Froggy is not. He is most now. certainly Fanny. is not. <laughs> you think I don't know what's happening, <laughs> ma'am? Okay. He is in a tavern. Where? I told you where he was. Oh. See, the thing is, I still sort of make the rules here, so I'm just going to like disappear into the wall unless you give me slightly more information. But I did. He told you he was in a tavern. I hit him. Um. Yeah, you can swing on him. Oh, but that breaks oh, the, no, that breaks no, our, no. we have a deal. Yeah, but he's he not eyes following your that deal. Way, he's... And he like kind of tuts a little bit. Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> Tell you. Uh, let's see. So that's, um, 22 to hit. 22 hits. Oh, no. Uh, 21 damage again. All right. And that second attack. Why shouldn't we be hitting this guy? This guy sucks. So oh, can, this guy sucks. I'm, I'm guessing he can hurt us a lot as well. Uh, 16 yeah. to hit. Um, 16 does not hit. Got you. Do the D4. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, 19 to hit. 19 does hit. Jeez. So that is 27. Uh... Do I have? Uh, should I get more specific? I don't know what to do. I don't want to. He, it's Loki. He's going to lie to you and then just. Yeah, that's what. I, he's just one gonna, of he's them. Probably lying. Cracks into him and like there's a slight splash of blood across your face, Saga. Uh, I would love specifics and I'd love to stop being hit. I am going to throw him said, into a pit. You never said. You never said specifics. You never said that. The rules changed, and he moves into the wall. I'm gonna change the rules then. <laughs> <laughs> Just screaming and moving, and time once again is irrelevant. Oh, no. God damn it. No. Gorbjorn, hundreds upon hundreds of feet are stomping up those stairs. An army. You hear people yelling in Orcish. Uh, I just respond in orcish uh to the group though as if like i've taken back into like when i was still uh working in at the reach and Do, I, remember does nana understand orcish no I don't <laughs> think, i'm practically I don't just saying does. get behind me as i oh. like take the front practically ready for it um runs to the front yells at the group in orcish and gorbjorn you begin to fight the waves it is just a horde of orcs looking for your blood. Is Do there any anything? of the rest of us see that? No, nothing. He's just swinging God at nothing damn. and screaming in orcish. Gorbjorn, please stop. Just for a moment. It's only makes my rescue going. 
And you hear like a voice like in your Wait, head I see saga. The There's only like one moment. way to really make Wait, it stop, oh. you know. I was I was gonna be honest about that. I'm so lonely. Well, we're here. I haven't seen another god in so long. That's all I want. I can call the uproar here for you, maybe. Oh, that's beautiful. Where is Broggy? Oh, why him? Why not Lady Seder? Yeah, I could call Lady Seder too. Broggy has a physical form here on this plane. I have a physical form here on this plane. If your friend turns that corner, which he will in about 20 seconds, and swings on me again, I will turn him to paste. Now, I'd love to make a deal where you tell me exactly where Bragi is in perfect detail, where I will not hurt him unless he hurts me. I will not compel him to damage me so that I may hurt him. You and your friends will no longer be damaging me and I will not damage you or your friends. And we can all calmly speak upstairs, but I need your word and where Rocky is first. And then you have uh, my the word. Uproar! <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say like, I'm just, she just like starts like looking like freaked out and then she's, I need a minute. And then she holds her hands out. I'm gonna try to polymorph him. You okay? What do I gotta roll? Oh boy! <laughs> a, guys. a wisdom saving throw. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this boy's wisdom. It's, it's a very it's a low save though, so he's probably gonna succeed because he's a god. <laughs> but it's highly likely. Yeah. Uh, twenty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can actually. Well, no, because six uh, meets it beats it. So if I did my thing and he rolled a four. He would still. He would still, he be, would be, still be a sixteen, still unless there's something else anyone can do. Nope. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, cutting words. Uh, yeah. Does that work for reactions or uh, saves? Yeah. But uh, sadly, Saga is on her own currently. Oh yeah. Oh, there's nobody around. Okay. No, it's like you see people and then they're gone. It's almost. Sometimes they see you. Sometimes they don't. Okay. Uh, but, I uh, Gorbjorn sees each time somebody comes by. So, sometimes a friend runs out past the army of orcs and you're like, get the fuck back, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. so the army I... of orcs appears to be there through his true sight? Yes. What? I don't surge. Um, but I did try it. <laughs> um, okay, that didn't work. I'm sorry, I had a moment. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, it's all right. But it won't be all right when I have to ask you again later. Oh no. I'm, I, I'm struggling. Your friends are struggling. I'm struggling. You see, um, see, I'm also, um, see the problem is I, I really love my friends and I also really love Broggy and I don't want to hurt any of them and I don't want you to hurt him, and you're hurting my friends right now, which means I don't know if you're gonna hurt him or not, and... Uh, it's kind of, you're kind of, uh, mm. a bit, you're, you're, you're not very trustworthy though right now. I understand that. I hear it. I am receiving your criticism, and I am taking it in. I am considering it deeply. You're a very powerful group walking in here smelling of gods. And I have yet to cause damage to anyone. Oh. And I was- <laughs> Just look around. <laughs> you don't see any blood from anybody. Um, he's the only one injured. Now, I am about to disappear again. I have no intention of lying to you because I could take this information from your mind if I saw fit, but I'm trying to now be trustworthy. Um, I want to try one more time to insight check this. Go for it. And I will use a Tides of Chaos on the roll. 
Perfect. Okay. Uh, it's a 19. How do I feel? You... Oh, Sorry. plus a d4. Do I have a d4? You still have a d4! Okay! Okay, so, uh, did I say a 19? 21. You don't think he's being untruthful. Hmm. You okay. think his deal he is giving <laughs> is... It is a actual deal he is willing to make. Okay. I don't know if I have the right to give this information away right now, and I feel really bad, but hurting everyone else is not good, and I'm sure Froggy would not be okay with that either. All right. He's in the tavern here in the city. He owns it. He looks at you. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to talk upstairs? Come on. Um, and he starts to make his way up. And you hear him taking you. slow, calming breaths. And each of you who is afflicted begin to feel sanity returning to you slowly. And as each of you make your way up, you are at the top landing of the tower. Have we all, like, reconvened? Yeah, all of you are now at the now? top. And... Um, there is a man sitting on the desk and you watch as his skin flutters between colors and shapes. And then before you is a man with pale skin, dark eyes, long kind of curling blonde hair that goes past the shoulders, um, slim but fit in fisherman's clothing, just sitting on a dresser. My apologies. It's a pleasure to meet you. And he extends a hand and kind of just motions over the group. My name is Loki. And that is where we're going to stop and take our break real quick. And then we're going to jump back into things. Thank you guys so much for being here. We really appreciate it. I love talking to you guys about stuff. Here's Loki. We'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Thank you, 10. Ah!
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Dice Cold for episode 79 of On the Backs of Gods. Currently, we just took our break. The party spent either nine minutes or 40 years inside of a lighthouse comprised of the leg bone of Loki and are currently is. looking at the god themselves sitting on a desk. Everybody who was affected by the tower with each long breath Loki takes that this anger and confusion, um, this need to do something dissipates and time becomes more steady. And you can see from the windows that it's like the same time of day. So just so you know, made a little deal. If you hurt me, I turn this into your tomb or something. That sounds spooky, right? Good. Mildly. We've had worse, but... So... What, how much okay. personal recollection do each of us have of the mental anguish we just experienced and, like, how much recognition do we have of our own behavior during the last nine minutes or 40 years? It's kind of like going through childbirth where, boy, oh boy, I'm going... I'll describe, not that I know, uh, but, but I'll describe it from what I think it is. Uh... <laughs> just the concept of going through something so incredibly uh, painful and traumatizing on occasion, and then doing it all again later because your brain kind of minimizes it a little bit. So you are aware of what happened. You're aware that, okay, I think I was in a state, but the, the pinnacle of the anguish of it is minimized. Well, I want to start off it's only fair, takes a deep breath and like calms down. <sighs> Sorry, I usually don't do that for that long. Um, I am very sorry. My bad. Is she you know, it was not exactly enjoyable. If you had started that whole thing off in a different way, maybe we would have I would have been like the the doing the whole show at the beginning with the lady and then the guy and the walking. Well, isn't it a really it. good show? No, I mean it was it kind of freaked us out, you know. Yeah, I it's kind of good. I was pick. Thank you. I was picking up on that. It like ooh spooky, but like what is time? Is how old's the lady? Is that her kid? You know, like I thought it was a bit fun little cheeky. I never hurt anyone. You just got to experience um, something that gave me enough time to figure out who you were. I needed time to make sure that I was safe, which it seems I'm not, uh, but safe for now. I just wanted to see Broggy again. That's all. Why do you want to see him so bad? <laughs> Uh, because I haven't seen family in a very, very long time. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you here. Uh, <laughs> uh, certainly, I'm sure, uh, wouldn't be that happy to see me. But you know, time, the cure-all, um, and there was a war, but that wasn't fully my fault. We didn't even get to my section of it. It was a whole nother thing. All I'm saying is, <laughs> I just want to see somebody I know. I want to see him. <sighs> is it isn't um, imprudent to ask. Um, just how many of um, the old legends are uh, reliable? Oh, I'm sure, of, uh, oh, gosh, I've heard a lot of good two. ones. With me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you probably. You rather conflict a lot. Probably minimized, if I'm going to be honest. Um, oh. The thing is, it's been quite a long time since I've done any of those things. And you know, and he like motions to himself, very, like, very attractive. Like, Broggy's like an okay looking guy when he has his glamour up. Loki's fucking hot. This dude just like, there's blonde hair sort of billowing to the side. He like runs a hand through it. 
Uh, but there is just something behind those eyes that's just a little unsettling. I'm not even sure if this is what I looked like. Nobody can tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing. This could be oh, me. That does rather make sense. And maybe, um, maybe Broggy would remember and that would be nice. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, you said something, uh, you were talking, what did you mean? Uh, you said cure-all? After the, the cure-all? What was that? Which part? Uh, you said, oh, the cure-all happened and it nothing didn't reach my part yet. I don't know, oh, you were going fast. I, was, I think you misheard me, but I was talking about the wars that did occur. See, we were preparing for, for my war because everyone was, I'm going to be honest, a bit rude. And maybe I overreacted, but not a lot. Uh, but another thing did happen, and we didn't even get to my part, which is kind of a bummer. What happened instead? Something else. Some other thing wanted to fight. Something much better than everyone. Uh, <laughs> really wrecked the pantheon, you know? Uh, <laughs> and here I am. I see. Not to change the subject, but a oh, prophecy please. of ours uh, calls you the keeper of a candle. First off, love this prophecy. Second off, um, kind of scans the room and you watch like as the eyes, both of them this time kind of flutter through colors and shapes and then settle back in on the ones he chose. This could be considered a candle and it's mine. Um, and he watches, he taps his leg, which in his billowy or pant, it was hard to see. Um, he has a constructed wooden leg. So good to meet you. Nice to know prophecy has brought you my way. I'm not sure what I can give you. Well, prophecy might say, um, do you know, a, do you have a compass? Do you know anything about a compass? Uh, I know what a compass is. Is that a good start? Yes. Mm. Um, the prophecy says that a compass towards a crest worn not by a chief. Um, I have a suspicion of whom that may indicate. So you what? are looking for a who? Maybe. What do you think, Nana? I believe that we're likely looking for someone who dresses in white and gold. A uh, mask on the face, gold about the chin. Oh, they were here, yes. Uh, yes how ago. long ago, yes. Yesterday? Is that what you Starts said? Starts laughing. <laughs> That's not yeah, I, don't know. I need to know, please. You can please. ask, but... You couldn't say how long you were in here, and I certainly can't. What they want? Mm -hmm. They were interested. Oh, see, now we're evening things out. And to keep it even, I'll give you this information. And um, afterwards, I will lead you down safely. And we'll all go see Broggy together. What did they want? This is actually why I've upped my vetting system. I just kind of let them like half the effort walk up here. And I'm like, that's too much. Um, they wanted, what did they want? Uh, and you watch just like, it's like connected earlobe, disconnected earlobe, connected earlobe, disconnected earlobe. And he kind of just like slaps it. They wanted power from me. They were asking, they were offering, yes, yes. And you just see him trying to remember like he's struggling. They were offering me gifts. Like they could give me something in return for giving them power in some sort of way. Um, and they wanted to use the lighthouse in some sort of way. And um, interested in, you know, uh, you know, how everyone's dead. Um, they're like, we want to take power from this thing. And I'm like, well, it's not going to be the same because I'm not dead. Um, and they're like, you want to, you know, just be friends. 
Did they say what they wanted to do with this power? Uh, I don't know. What immortals want? Something for their lifetime and then they die. I can't say I was not interested. I said you should go find something a bit more dead. How about getting out of the tower actually helps a bit? I'm going to be honest. <laughs> While we're out and taking a nice breezy walk, maybe maybe the memories will come to me. That you know? Would be, it would be appreciated if you would consider it. Please. I have no reason to keep anything from you. The affairs are minimal to me, but I mean that nicely. Of course. <sighs> you guys want to get out of here? Yes. Yes, let's get out of here. I think we should. You, you've been able to leave this whole time. Why haven't you? Oh, well, I did for some time. And he, like, gets up and he, like, grabs a coat and he, like, puts it on. It's like a kind of weathered fisherman jacket like it's not it's not very nice well i actually have like a part-time job i sometimes go to at just like a little shop um uh, but i don't go very often and they're like oh he's here and they're, i'm like hey but <laughs> and you could just see like there's moments where it just like it seems like the train of thought blips out and then he has to like bring it back in I'm sorry. Um, did you ask some? I stay here because everything else is a bit sad. You know, <laughs> if I go make a friend outside, they're going to die. Uh, I like blink my eyes. They're gone. And I'm like, oh, no, Jeffrey. And then I'm sad about it. M minimal amount of time of sadness. But so, you know, I just I hang out here where time is almost irrelevant sometimes. The <clears throat> All the gods didn't die. How have you not found one since? Oh, it's because they're all cowards and they won't stay down here. Um, they hide in their rivers and streams and towers um, in the sky, that sort. Um, they are not of this plane, even though the lines are very thin after since the war, you know? Um, you could tell, and he like motions to your group. <laughs> Look at you, you'd be separated by worlds and here you all are, smack dab in one. Actually, there is one God that I have tried to reach out to and I had understood she to live, but where I have, sort with what felt to be very clear is Lace boots and sort of vaguely watching you i heard nothing that's gods for you isn't it alive or dead <laughs> they're not going to talk to you unless they want to and if dead you have to take it hmm. right i'll lead the way <laughs> Don't stab me in the back while we're walking down. I will crush you with the walls. I have as much good walks, anyway. I'll go walk directly behind him. I'll so she... be last, yeah. Okay. Um, you see that there are sparse furnishings up here. Um, it is, it's not much. It is, is there just... a candle or like a means of lighting the light? There seems to have been a, like you can see that there is like a large pale gem that was at one point probably the light, uh, but it does not, it is not currently on or seem to be doing anything. Well, it's but a gem, I'll take it. <laughs> it is, it is too big to take. Oh. <laughs> There's a moment of calculation, like looks at the bag, looks at it, calculates the weight, and he's like, that's too many tens. And it's just <laughs> one tier. And you all begin to make your way down behind Loki. So how is Broggy doing? Good. Still a sad sack. It's kind of his vibe. Well, as you'll ask him yourself shortly. I will certainly ask him. I love a good surprise anyways. Um, and leads you down a normal amount of steps. 
couple hundred. What what should we call you outside? Ooh, that's a interesting question. How about whatever you're feeling? I prefer Loki. That's my name. Well then, Loki, I hope it's not terribly untoward, but before we leave your tower, um, may I have a kiss? <laughs> this guy, roll persuasion. This guy. I had a D4, maybe. I, <laughs> um, by this time, the 10 minutes would be up. Okay. Damn. The night bastard 20. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is there any particular reason or is it because I'm probably the most attractive person ever? It's that one. Mm. <laughs> that is the correct answer. Um, excuse me, pardon me. Um, like brushes past Saga um, and is he's a bit shorter because he's like on a step lower than you. Uh, Roshan will lean in and uh, give him a, a good old kiss. Yeah, buddy! Uh, it is reciprocated, and your friends are just like, I thought for 2,000 years I wandered these halls. <laughs> um, and you can feel his, like, lips shift to, like, kind of, like, different humanoid sizes during the kiss and then like settle on the normal one. Good to know we're all moving on. Love to see it. Um, You're and just, a very like, good kisser. Thank you. I don't know the last time I did it, to be honest. I was making a lot of babies at one point and they turned into like, they were like a little weird, but it was like endearing, you know? Hmm. What were, why were they a little weird? <laughs> Oh, I don't think they're weird. It's uh, it's not my opinion. It's everyone else's opinion. They sort of, oh. you know, and he like flutters his face to multiple shapes and sizes. Mm. They do this. Everyone's like, ooh, spooky. It is. <laughs> so I stopped doing that. Uh, <laughs> but there's still a bunch of them crawling around. Uh, don't tell them I'm here. <laughs> he laughs as he makes Well, that's endearing. <laughs> Please don't tell my children where I am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm getting killed. I don't think they're weird, but don't let them know where I am. <laughs> Please don't tell them where I am. I love yeah, 10,000 years of child support. And don't in a normal amount of time, he opens the door and steps out. There's more cats this time. Hello. And like, walks around. Hello. Hello. Do they you like you? Or the good do work? they like the leg bone? Or what is I, it exactly? I'm going to be honest. I haven't a clue. <laughs> You're not any of their parents, are you? <laughs> Shit. And then start <laughs> walking. How many cat persons have you I had relations don't with? No. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I if you ask me to say how many people I've had sex with and what types of people and or things and or stuff, I could not exactly clarify. Hmm. Would if it you be were the possible, thing at the time. Does make sense. Hmm. Would it be possible while the party has Loki's rapt attention and Roshan's like kissing him and stuff? Um, <laughs> you think I could get away from the group unnoticed, especially by Loki, like particularly by Loki? Um, you are welcome to roll stealth. It is not going to be with advantage, though. Okay. Rolling, rolling. 23. What is my perception shot? Okay, um, he seems not to care if he has or has not noticed you. I'm going to, as soon as I feel confident that I'm out of his sight... I'm going to try and make my way back to the inn quicker than the rest of the party and get with Bragi. All right. You're going to have to kind of, it's definitely a run. Yeah. I just, yeah. As soon as I'm, as soon as I'm pretty sure I'm not being noticed, I'm going to get out of there. Yeah. 
you skirt out behind buildings and start moving. Um, Loki is moving at a pace. Um, after the slow steps on the uh, stairwell, um, you are moving at a fast pace. Um, he continues forward, looking around, and he's just like, ah, and he like waves at a person, and he's just like, I can't remember if these are the same people I met or it's their children, you know, what are you gonna do? Is he singing again? I hope he's singing again. That'd be good for him. Oh, he was such a sad little bean, you know, with the whole, you know, dead wife thing. It's a real bummer for him. I can just understand like, why. I'll be, I was sad when, when my wife passed. She was an astounding woman and incredibly loyal and very hot in the face and tit area. But... It's been 10,000 years, and who am I to not have sex with more things? Who are you even? That is true, <laughs> I suppose. I spent a long time <laughs> not doing anything. So mm. I hope Bragi is living to the fullest. <laughs> I hope he's doing well. He seems like he's doing fairly well for himself, yes? Uh, it takes you guys maybe 10 more minutes to realize that Fen is not with the group anymore. Um, oh, no. All of you would be aware of that. Um, oh, no. Loki sort of walks and like spins and he just kind of is currently moving. It does not seem to have noticed. He does not seem to notice. Or maybe he does not care. Mm. This is so exciting. And a prophecy. Maybe the prophecy was for me and Bragi to say, how do you do? And be just excited to be here. That's great. I would hope so. But that'd be lovely. And after we sit down, we have a chat. You know, we get to tell me if my face looks right. Um, then I will do my best to remember all information for you as a team and a group. Um, you're slowly moving. Do you guys do anything about the fact that Fen is gone? Or is it like, well, we hardly knew ye. I, I mean, I'd like to look for him. I don't know if I can find yeah, him because sure he left. Gone. Like, um, he, by this time, you, even with a high perception check, you would not see him. Yeah. Can Nana uh, kind of like meet Tordric's eyes and be kind of like, can you call him? I suppose. I could um, call him too. I don't know if he can. I don't know if he still has it. <laughs> I don't either. Um, uh, but Roshan can. Roshan will uh, sending to Fen and say, where did you get off to? Just thought that Bragi should know what's approaching. Try not, to, try not to make a thing of it. Roshan gives some thumbs up into the distance. <laughs> when you've turned your head to the side to murmur this message, you turn it back and there is a blonde man in step with you. Who are we talking to? Just the missing party member. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think I'm astounding company. I personally wouldn't want to leave you to walk alone. <laughs> That'd be silly. You Horribly. shouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, and he continues walking. Um, Can I insight that to see if it really did give me like crazy ex-girlfriend vibes? You're welcome to. <laughs> um, and yeah. as he sort of like like keeps in step, why do you think he peeled off? Is it because of me or is it you know? He's like, generally uh, kind of paranoid. Oh, he... Went to tell Bragi of your arrival. He smiles. You should tell him I'm coming. Well, he'll already know when you get there. Well, no. Fen no. is very fast. You should do do your little talkies, and then the trek would be so much shorter. Oh, uh, he's unreachable by magical means. Oh, that's probably why I can't feel him. That's a pity. Would you roll on your insight? Only a thirteen. I mean, you take it as you will, man. <laughs> um, I didn't start fast skipping. She started fast skipping a while ago. 
<laughs> Nervous Ooh. anxiety skipping. <laughs> Loki does his best. He like keeps in step, but you see it is a little bit of a struggle seeing as one of he legs is fake. Um, you can see that he's slightly hindered in movement, um, but um, is it's almost unnoticeable. But for a god, it's a little more noticeable. Can I steal his wooden leg? You, <laughs> you can certainly try. I'd Slide love to see of hand. it. First roll <laughs> stealth. <laughs> I love to see it. Uh, that's over twenty. So, uh, yeah, that'd be twenty-three. Okay, and then sleight of hand. And disadvantage, it is a wooden leg. Uh, rolled two sevens, so... <laughs> that's a dunny oh, Uh, that's a ten total. Okay, oh, you silently move up. Nobody even notices you're below eye level. Who looks down? Nobody. Um, Nobody. We're used and, to him, like, rolling on the ground. Um, you... <laughs> Are like you get like a hand sort of like around the leg, and you feel Loki's body shift with it, and he's like, "I mean, I thought you were very attractive. Is this is this the sign you're showing me? What's up?" And then I just pull. <laughs> Yank and try to take it. Oh, all right. This is opposed. Oh no. Yeah. Stormyorn. What the fuck, dude? What do you have, good sir? I have, uh, what is that? Sorry, uh, that's the twenty-four. Wait, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled really good, so I didn't do the full math. One second. <laughs> Seems we're at a standstill, then, good sir. Oh no! Um, as you can feel his grip tighten. And you sort of both even out. Well, um, he's distracted. <laughs> Run! Oh, I was already I'm... fast skipping. Yeah. Fast skip faster. I don't understand why this is happening. Me neither. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. I'm What's willing to forgive. Or Honestly, I get like it. Him. Glorbjorn, I promise we wouldn't hurt him. Don't hurt him. That was the promise. And then if you start hurting me, I'll start hurting you. That would be very bad. We wouldn't enjoy that. And I don't want to. And if you are friends with Bragi, that seems quite rude on my behalf. I'm trying to be good here. Glorbjorn, why exactly are you attacking Loki? Because Glorbjorn has a history of hating gods and fuck Loki. <laughs> Like, why am I the only one, like, consistently fuck him? <laughs> well, no, I, I say fuck him, too, but, like, uh, the prophecy says do not interfere, so I'm not interfering. <laughs> You're welcome to call off your friend, or maybe we have one less person again in our group. Oh, no. No, no, I, go, go up your and it's, it's okay, go up your, it's fine. They're, I think they're supposed to meet. I think it's supposed to happen. I'll just let go and just sit on the floor defeated and so confused and I'm just gonna walk around town. Nana will Sorry. go over and give him a little pat on the shoulder like, it's alright, I understand. Imagine if he had popped my leg off. <laughs> he starts laughing. <laughs> what let's, would let's I have just, possibly done? Just go. Mm, I wonder. I assume you would have shapeshifted. That's a smart idea. I was thinking of just crawling around and trying to figure it out as I went. I'll put that at the top. Um, and begins walking. Gorbjorn, do you stay with the group-ish or are you like, fuck this fully. I don't even want to be part of the get-together. I Yeah, I don't want to be there. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boy, buddy. Be and careful. You separate from the group. It takes a hot minute to get there. It's gonna. It's This is a long trek where Loki just talks and sometimes says nothing talks to people in town as he walks by very friendly to the people um occasionally talking to a cat that he walks by telling it do it, that it's doing a great job um and yeah, that makes sense hours pass fen you are a good bit ahead not a crazy amount but you're a good bit ahead um 
as you make your way forward. Um, you guys seem to be moving, the people who stayed with Loki seem to be moving very quickly. Like, cause you can see that his walking is stunted, but he's moving faster than that should warrant. Hmm. And it is just, so Fen, you have, you have some length and time passes. Um, and after a few hours of walking with a god, you get to the upper part of town. Um, Fen, you have made your way to this point at the tavern and you're running towards it and you get the door open. And from the people who are still in the group, um, you watch as like Loki looks around at just like this area and he's like, haven't been up here in quite some time. And he takes a deep breath and says, Broggy. And it just reverberates through the town. And Fen, you got like a split second. You burst into the room. You see like the bartender. Hey. The bard, where's the bard? Oh, um, he's probably up on the balcony, Broggy, and it just hits into the tavern. Oh no. And you hear the slamming of a door upstairs. And you see quickly a stumble of step moving down and towards. You see Broggy uh, wide in the eyes, making a beeline for the front door. I'm going to try and intercept him if I can. Uh, Are you going to try to physically stop him? He does not look like he's stopping. Try to get his recognition that he sees me, recognizes me, and... He, he does not seem controlled. He seems like he's making a choice at the moment. Yeah, and I'm making a choice to try and drag him to a quiet corner where I can talk to him for a second. Like, like he, um, should, he, should, he should see on my face, he would see concern and panic and that I want to talk to him. Hopefully, if he even recognizes me. He's a he acknowledges guy. you. He does not seem interested in stopping. <clears throat> All right. So he's moving. He does not want to stop. He is going towards that. Right. Uh, I guess I'll follow behind him at, at as good a pace as I can, staying close and just try to, in a way that I think he can hear me, but nobody else would be able to make sense, be like, they let him out. He knows you're here. He's coming to talk to you. It was not intentional. We didn't want to. They were stuck. We were all stuck. You can just hear through gnashed teeth. Then we'll talk. Um, I don't want to talk to you. You know, I don't care for you. I come to, I've come to care for you a bit more and I've come to trust you. I do not trust him whatsoever. Oh, I'm going to talk to him. That's who I'm going to talk to. Um, there's a loud, right? A few moments after the Bragi from him, Saga's going to, also, probably also casting Thaumaturgy, or maybe he does a god thing, but I'm gonna cast Thaumaturgy and be like, just, I'm sorry! Just as loud as I can. You That's watch it. Froggy's eyes widen, Fen, and he takes off in a full sprint. I will do my best to keep pace with a god. It's it's not I mean, this super is like different. God, like he's an artist god. Like I could I can probably he's keep not the god of run fast. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's not the god of the sprint. You're able to keep him in sight. That is, you are able to not lose him. You're able to keep yeah. pace. Um she did her and, best. And just as it's as if these two worlds are slowly moving towards each other, you see Loki has picked up the pace. Big smile on his face. And then they both stop. And you realize they can see each other. And you can look over and you can see Broggy and Fen. You look over, you can see Loki. And they just stare at each other for a moment. And Loki takes a step forward. Broggy! You look incredibly well 
moving on quick and he kind of gives a nudge towards Saga. Very cute, very proud of you, honestly. <laughs> and he, he is walking forward as he talks. I didn't expect to, um, you know, <laughs> see you again. <laughs> it's insane, really. Um, you know, after everything happened, so sorry, by the way, about um, Eden. Uh, but I was bored and I feel like the best way to move on is to be perfectly honest with each other. Brog, you, you were having such a good time in that town and I only wanted to have a good time too. So, I didn't even have to use any magic. I just started a little rumor. But what if the gods were happier? Would it stop whatever's happening? Would it stop this corruption if they were just happier? <laughs> they fucking ran with it, Bragi. <laughs> it was so long, Bragi. <laughs> and his laugh just echoes through the place. You put him in there. No, no, no. People did that. You as well could have. I should have. <laughs> yes. They bound me with my child's insides. They left me to rot in a cave and when I am freed, <laughs> they are confused, I'm mad. They're confused about it. You see Bragi has not said anything and is staring forward. He places a hand down at his side and you watch his energy sort of pools at his hand, magic slowly moving together and forming until there is a sword in his hand. And Fen, you hear him wince. And all of you can see from here as blood begins to form across his stomach, the shape of the runes that had bound him, the wound that did not heal. And he seems a little dizzy after doing that, but sword in hand, fully runs towards uh, Bragi, or towards Loki. And Loki looks back. Oh, do you think he's going to hurt me? That's that's quite a predicament. Um, and he fully turns um, to meet uh, Bragi, and it is a clash. It is an amount of energy in one spot that is unnerving, hard to comprehend as they clash into each other and they begin to fight. Um, you can see that Loki is mostly doing um, like magics with the hands, not exactly making a weapon, but like laying a hand onto a spot and there's a burst of energy that like just stabs through Bragi. Bragi is getting a few hits in, but you can just see the blood from where his wound had opened up is just starting to fully soak the shirt and Saga, Saga what do we do? you watch and what do you do um I think that uh Sara well, you hear a voice in your head as you begin to speak this is your chance. Let it happen. Let them do this. Finish your prophecy. Let them destroy each other as it is meant to be. No. No. I, all I want, all I want is, I just, I just want to be, I just want people, I just want to be happy, I just want to have friends, I just want to remember, and I just want, I want, Lady Seder, I, you've been wonderful, you, 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 I don't know what you did, though, I don't know what you did, I don't know who I am, and I don't know anything. 
And I've been following you this whole time, and I don't know what we're working towards. And I've met all these people, and they're wonderful. And... I met him, and he's wonderful. And I don't... I... No. 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 She's gonna... Um... Slam her staff down on the ground. And, uh... Cast Wall of Ice. Okay. Where do you cast it? Uh... Hopefully... Straight through Loki. Currently, they're kind of in the same space. Okay. Then I'll cast it around them in a circle. Around all of us in a circle. And away from, like... The outside. So, so any bystanders cannot see. I just want to make an arena, basically. Okay. You create an arena of ice. And at this point, you see Broggy is losing. Um, mm. You can see that he is pale, and each time he casts a spell, it weakens him. And he is fully fallen back and just, like, back against the wall of ice. And Loki stops. And I can I do one more thing? Sure. Or do I need to let time? Saga do one more thing? Okay. I'm going to um there's ice like all over the walls and there's ice on the ground. And I'm just going to start walking, like running, and it's kind of like I'm almost skating but running at the same time. And I incredibly quickly. Um past him and past Loki and past everybody and I'm just going to as I like slide past I'm going to quickly grab Bragi give him a kiss and he is going to get some hit points back okay and ha, ha. he gets uh da, da, 6 plus 4 he gets 10 hit points back not much but hey uh, I don't provoke I don't provoke opportunity attacks with this, though. And, um, as I, like, slide by, <laughs> I'm be like, I'm with you. And slide. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Away. Um, onto the you other side. You can't get much farther than that, I am afraid, yeah. with the amount yeah. you have done. You say, I am with you, next to Bragi. And Loki looks down at both of you. Huh. jealous and you watch him move his arms and a second wall of ice bisects the circle and cuts <sighs> off the rest of the group oh shit now we only have a moment but let me tell you a story and he's like there's like a snap of his neck there was a greedy little dwarf named Fafnir now his tiny body could not possibly contain the emotions that he felt and his hand snaps back. My body could not possibly contain. You watch as green smoke rises from his mouth. <laughs> How could I possibly contain it? And you watch as scales form up the side of his neck and over his face and his body begins to enlarge rapidly. And the rest of you see most of the wall of ice explodes in front of them as you are met face to face with a gargantuan sized green dragon that stands before Bragi and uh, stands before Bragi and Saga. I want to make you hurt. And Smoke rises from the mouth and his eyes focus in on Saga. And he moves in face first. No! And Bragi looks to you and it's like, there's just a moment where you're looking at each other. And sort of just bumps into you the best he can with the strength that he has. And you watch the teeth close in around him instantly. And there is a spray of blood that goes across your body. No! And the head turns to look at you. And you hear in his voice and Lady Seder's voice ringing in your head. This is your last chance. Go. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, <laughs> and the smoke rises from the mouth. I'd like everybody who's here to roll initiative. All right, baby, bring At it. Least Christo gets to play as Tordrick. Tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So let me put my green dragon on the board, shall we? Oh goodness. Oh no. Currently, that oh, is. God. Saga, and then the Gorbjorn's off living his best life. Oh no, God, Gorbjorn! Fen's on the opposite side. Oh my God! But at this God. point, you watch as all of the ice walls shatter. Um, oh this thing is visible to all as this large dragon looms over, and Saga, you watch as like Bragi's blood drips from his face. This could be fun. <laughs> this would be fun. And um, the smoke continues to rise. I would love to know. We've got initiative 20 and up. 22. Ooh. 15 Scorpion. to 20. Scorpion going to roll and then come in later? Uh, uh, Sordrick got a 16. And what'd you get, Fen? 15. Wow, Tordrick rolling hot. Um, the first time he's had an initiative over 10, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, 10 to 15? I already forgot what I said. 5 to 10. Uh, no, uh, nine, 11 right now. Cool. Nana? 10. Okay, so Saga. It's Nana. That's everybody. Whee. Okay. Just for clarification, the dragon is in addition to, or or did Loki, Loki turn himself is in? Dragon current. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank so you. that's not. There's not two of them. <laughs> Just a very very big green dragon. Um, and it's just this laughter that echoes through the space as it moves forward. I'll be facing this way. And it looks down at you, Saga. Very well. And then you hear a voice in your head, very well then. And we are at the top of the initiative. Roshan, things have popped off, baby. You were first. Oh boy. Um, I think Roshan's just going to get real nervous and uh-huh. uh, his tattoos will start shifting on his skin and then eventually peel off into his angelic visage. And uh, he'll cast Expeditious Retreat on himself because why not? Sure. Um, Cast X. <laughs> bye bye. Just After leave the party. <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> Who needs the Saga party? Against a dragon. Let's go. I've I don't have any armor. I'll do it again. Oh god. Um. Anything else, Rishan? Uh Any lifting up of any kind, or where are you going? Oh, uh, I guess I could move. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Want, dude. I'll go like thirty feet into the air. Okay. You pick up 30 feet. I goofed it. I'll write it down. Who needs anything? Um, You take off 30 feet into the air. Um, (laughs) You're like, this dragon is so big. And um, go ahead and just roll history for me real fast, Roshan. Um, Tordrecht is the next player character on deck. 18. you're sizing this up just from things you have read and stories. Nobody's seen dragons in so long. The sizing is ancient. Lovely. Love that. As you take off into the air and can get the full scope of the thing, and now you can fully see that Bragi is no longer there. So um, take that as you will. Um, you take off, and the dragon focuses in on Saga. Okay. Let's let's have some fun. (laughs) Um, And it is going to um, go ahead and snap at you as it's like, um, I can 
feel like I can handle this very rapidly. Um, 23 to hit. Yeah, my AC right now is 12, so... Good to know. Um, yeah. I think it's impossible for me to miss you, Kurt. That's what. I, that's why oh, I was telling no. you. Yeah. Thank you. Jesus. You take 17 points of piercing damage. Okay. And? And... 11 points of poison damage. Christ. Okay. As it takes a bite at you, and uh, just the mouth opens, and the smoke begins to billow out. One moment. Um, and it is going to take off into the air. Oh, am I coming with? No. Um, he's oh, okay. not taking you, but he is whizzing past. Technically, you have your staff. You could make a bonkus attack, or you can just hold on to your reaction. Um... I, I think I'll hold on to my reaction. I don't think the bonkus is going to yeah. do anything. May I bonkus? Oh. Did I see Broggy in there when I was <laughs> getting when, bitten? When you were, you could not see him in the mouth. Okay. Did I ever see him? I just saw him get bit and then gone. You saw him just being fully consumed. Okay, okay, okay. Great. Great. Good, 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 good. Um, Wonderful. He takes off into the air and he is going to go 80 feet up. And this is the part where you start to hear people in the town begin to scream. Um, people in the streets see all of this, start screaming, and people are running in directions. Nobody's staying to fight this thing, because that's silly. Um, and they continue forward. That is his turn. Um, just the laughter consuming most of the interaction. Um, Tordrick, you're up, Fen, you're on deck. So he's 80 feet away? Yes, he is 80 feet away. Um, Torjic's going to cast Spiritual Weapon at second level then. Okay. And, uh, summon it 60 feet away, and then as a bonus action, he can move it 20 it. feet, and then uh, attack. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, that's an 18 on the die, plus, uh... Four. That hits. Is that twenty-two? Yeah. Twenty-two hits. So it's D eight. So it, it takes six damage. Okay. And then for an action, does he have? Oh, but none of it is within eighty feet. That's mm -hmm. a shame. Okay. As an action, heal ready to hit it if it ever gets close to Saga. All right. Um, so would he like to move closer to Saga? You guys yeah. are a bit separate. Okay. He would 25. notice that I look half as good as I did before. <laughs> if that. <laughs> and the dragon has been singling her out, so. Yeah, he comes into view of you and he's like, ooh. Um, but that is Torjek's turn. Fen, you are up. Saga, you're on deck. So a uh, little clarification first. Is Tordrick's spiritual weapon an enemy within five feet of the dragon? I would no, say no. it does not count. Okay. All right. In that case, I'm going to cast the uh, Fen will cast Zephyr Strike. Okay. Uh, and he's going to take a shot at the dragon with his bow with, uh, with advantage. Uh, With the Zephyr Strike. Good thing you got the advantage. We'll see, maybe. Maybe it's a good thing you got the advantage. That's a nat 20. Nat 20 yeah, certain advantage. <laughs> All right. I would so, say that is a good thing. Yeah, so that's a 31 to hit. Uh, yeah, just, go for it. All right. Um, so that is. 3d8, or no, 2, 2d8, because it's not the, uh, all right. Sorry, this is going to take a little while. I'm, I'm rolling digitally, and I apologize to everybody. Okay. Uh, doubling the dice. So, um, what's Gorbjorn up to? Uh, 
I'd just like to know what he was doing on his time by himself. Um, he was kind of mad. He's uh, still kind of forgotten that he's wearing everything. <laughs> um, God, and dude. Just normal, kind of like, you know, I, I want a drink. I've been having to deal with goats and shit beds and <laughs> like rats in this hotel. Like, I just, I, I got to party that one time, but even then I was still working. Yeah, it was a job. But you were able to find a tavern. It's pretty easy here, and you're able to get a drink. Awesome. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> what do we got, Finn? <laughs> one more die to roll. Sorry. No problem. I would though mention if the town starts shaking and people are screaming for a dragon, he would be like, ah, oh, fuck, and start fuck. coming. Yeah. Um, go ahead and just Dude, roll me an initiative for guess. him. First, uh, first, at <laughs> okay. First attack is forty-two damage. Okay. Second attack, uh, no longer has advantage. A 24 to hit. 24 hits. Go ahead and roll your okay. next attack. Okay. And then figure out damage. All right. Next attack is a 17 to hit. 17 does not hit. Okay. Um, this one, a couple good ones go in the, in the softer stomach because you're in the front. Um, but another one hits slightly off and just scrapes fully off the scales. You can go ahead and start rolling damage. Yep. Okay. Um, I am going to go ahead and move on to Saga. And Saga, as you, just the pain in the pit of your stomach and just your body now in general, you go to do something. And she's like, then no sorrow. And there is a snap in your mind. And it is not, it is not a floodgate. It is more like whispers behind you that you can start to hear. And that horrible, numbing, overwhelming pain begins to consume you. That sadness, that loneliness, it becomes the only thing you can feel and nothing else is coming back to you and you stand before this thing and you can feel tears streaming down your face and you have never felt so alone if you use a sorcerer spell it will surge automatically but you still feel like you, you do not feel a presence with you you feel this is Lady Seder making a point. Point made. Um, I was planning on doing a cleric spell, actually. Well, anyway. that works out then. Um, she just screams uh, and uh, it's just going to yell. Uh, yeah, no, uh, it just yells, Uproar! It's time for chaos! Um, I guess casting a spell that doesn't surge wouldn't be chaotic, though. I want to call her out. Should I be, should I be more chaotic? That's fully up to you. You can call a pound, uh, a ca you can call a pound, you can call upon your surge that you did not use. I you could, still yeah. have one from Tides of Chaos. Um, let's do that instead, then. So, you can do your um, cleric spell. Okay. I, I'm gonna have two spells, actually. Okay. Uh, the first one is going to be, uh, twin spell, guiding bolt, fifth level, at the dragon. Okay. Does it have to change people it attacks with twin spell? Shit, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, it does. So, just guiding bolt, fifth just level. Just guiding bolt, okay. And I will use another Tides of Chaos on... Well, I will use a Tides of Chaos on this one to get advantage, so we could just immediately trigger that Third. Tides of Chaos. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. Um, Go ahead and roll your attack. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, that's annoying. Uh, 14. 
three uh, years you try to hit and your vision is just clouded as you yell for the uproar. Um, yeah. What else would you like to do? Another creature, damn it. Uh, that was... Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll... I don't surge. <laughs> Mm -hmm. from that part uh and the second thing that i do is cast a shield of faith on myself uh, i can't see Bragi, so you cannot see Bragi. can't cast it on him i think i need to see the person surround a creature of your choice within range hmm. i can't if he's he, is he within they're not 60 feet from us though they right? are 80 feet away yeah damn okay then i just cast that on myself okay um go ahead and roll the d20 and then the d100 real quick please okay. uh 17 for the d20 okay and and i'm mad Hit level spell. Fuck. Oh. 33. 33. Come on, buddy. Okay. You scream outwards, calling for aid calling for anyone in this space where it feels like it's almost only you. And you can hear Loki's laughter on the wind. And you hear a second one. And you can feel the uproar. It's sort of this feeling that bubbles up inside of you and her laughter that fills the space around you, fully blocking out everything. Oh and from behind, her hands touch your face and your eyes glaze over and she's like, let them know. And there's just a soft giggle from behind you. And those whispers turn to memories. It, it, it's not as if you are hit with a tidal wave, it is just as if you are slowly remembering bits and pieces that were lost to you for extended periods of time. Images, names, feelings uh, begin to fill your mind where it was just this blank, empty void and, and you see a man's face and you remember it vividly. Handsome, um, curly light colored hair, pale eyes and you recognize him. And you remember the first time you held hands. You remember the first time you kissed. You remember having his child. And then that dark feeling comes back again, where you're alone in a house and he's gone, taken by something and you're not sure what you were never given clarification but you just know he didn't leave you it was something else and you fear the worst and the house is quiet and that joy that you had felt this beautiful sensation of being loved dies but there's hope and you're just waiting for this very particular day. And then when it comes, you expect the house to be filled with sound and it is not. Your child, bright blue eyes, stares at you, but is, is quiet, moves some. And the house is still quiet and that terrible unnerving pain comes back, that loneliness and you remember getting up and knowing there was nothing else you could do. So you walk, baby on your back, you walk and you walk because you remember stories. There were uh, cliffs of, of promise, of, of promising where the goddesses will help mothers, where they save babies. And you walk 
and you walk and you can feel blisters on your feet split and your back is sore and your face is sunburnt and you're so incredibly cold and the only sound really is the wind because the baby doesn't make any sounds. Your only thing that keeps you going is just the occasional feeling of warmth on your back as you push forward and see the expanse of the cliff. And there you sit on your knees for hours, staring at the expanse of the sky, your baby laid next to you, praying, pleading. And then the familiar voice of Lady Seder comes to you and she promises she can save this baby, your baby. But that life it will live does not include you. If you give yourself to Lady Seder, she will save your baby and it will be healthy and grow, but you will never see it. And you accept, because how could you not? And she tells you to fall and you do. And you watch the white stone rapidly fly by you, the sky, moving fast, the sunset slowly setting, and then immense pain as you slam into the water. And then the sensation of nothing and then gasping for air, as you know, this is the moment you were born again as somebody else and you remembered voices above you and before they were murmured, blocked. Most of it is by the sound of the rushing waves and the wind around you. But for the first time ever, you remember what they said. You hear a woman's face, a voice. There's, there's a baby. You hear a woman say, and her voice softly echoes down to the water where you have begun to swim. Tell Jarl Vivica, tell her that we found a baby. It's a miracle. But that didn't matter to you because you had a mission. But now, you can see those bright blue eyes. His name is Lucas. Your son's name is Lucas. And you feel the cold of the uproar around you as the world comes back into focus, tears cleared away, and ice forms up around you, a spiked, beautiful armor. Um, you now have armor of Agathis uh, on. You have 25 temporary hit points, and if attacked with a melee attack, it'll do 25 cold damage. Hell yeah. You also feel a light wind whipping around you. Your spells back to you and under your control, the world bright again, and you feel as if the uproar is here to fight by your side, visible and ready. <laughs> you also have um, a hellish rebuke that now does cold damage. Hey. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, that's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll Holy tell you what happens shit. with her later. Cool. Okay. I, um, that that floods sense. to you and the world comes back. Hey, Nana, your turn. I can't imagine Nana catches very much of that. No, none of that um, is not for nobody else. I think that really. was all that, happening in my brain. Uh, that, yeah, makes that, was sense. A, that was a that was a big brain moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Big brain moment for Saga. That is fine. Go ahead. Um, I'm assuming Loki's still up in the air, right? Yes, he has not moved. 80 feet. All right. Then in that case, Nana is going to pull out her longbow and um, uh, kind of start making her way towards. Um, Saga, I don't think anybody else has been injured besides her, is that right? And that is the case currently. Okay, um, yeah, Nana's going to try shooting a shot up at Loki. She does have two attacks per action. Do you want me to go ahead and do both of those? Sure. It was just because um, internet dice were bad and slow. I, well, there is that, of course. Um, so that is... Hmm. Probably not gonna do it. Um, twelve to hit. 
No, certainly not. Mm, yeah, I didn't think so. The flap of the wings deters the arrow. God damn. Oh, come on, man. Thirteen to hit. No. <laughs> no, no. 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 Um, from this yeah. angle, you are against the wind and cannot get enough force behind it. Damn it. All right. Um... Nana does not have much. Um, Hunter's Mark is what range? 90 feet. Okay. Uh, Nana's going to Hunter's Mark Loki uh, as a bonus action. Concentrating. Sure. There's a flash of green gold light uh, around her and um, a sort of string of that flies up and attaches to Loki. Okay. You run in, you fully hunters marked this thing. Um, that is the end of your turn. We're back at the top, which is Roshan. And um, uh, Gorbjorn, could you tell me what initiative you got? I got a 15. Neat, okay. Um, so first, Roshan is going to um, just ask the shadow if it's anywhere around here. Um, if there's anything you can do to help, now is now is the time. Um, he's not going to wait for a reply unless one comes immediately. It is not immediate. Okay, uh, then he will cast oh uh, he doesn't want to take this thing's ire, so he'll just cast uh, Mind Sliver. Oh, this mm. is not going to go well. You need an intelligent saving throw. Oh, oh I'd love to do it. One for Loki. I bet he's really good at those. It was a 16 on the dice. I feel like we well, we all that's with that's <laughs> the saving throw. Is oh, the 16. perfect. God damn it. Um, and he's going to look down at Saga and say, are we doing this? And is going to give her some healing and I'll I'll message it so you can go beyond. But he's not going to uh, move. Me doing this a what, beesh? Um, Tordrecht is up, Fen, you're on deck. Tordrecht is up deck. So, it's still in the air, right? Yep. St oh, wait. Um, I'm sorry. I skipped his turn. That was so silly of me. Yeah, I was like, wait. I was like, wait a no, minute. It's, it's okay. okay. It's Tordrick's turn. It's my turn. Tordrick still um, can't do much. <laughs> he is going to take a gander of the surroundings, and he is going to flap his wings and move to a slightly more advantageous spot. And he takes a deep breath. Uh oh. And a plume of of green gas floods down from his mouth oh, and fills the alleyway that you all stand in, filling the street almost in its entirety. I need a constitution saving throw from Fen, Saga, Nana, Tordrecht, and Roshan. The whole team! Hooray! But me. Con save. 19 here. Well. 13 for Tordrick. You got a 6, but I didn't think I'd be that close to everybody. Um, 23. This cone is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you that. This fills the street. Um. Damn. One moment. Um, I don't yeah. know if my dice tower's big enough. Oh god, guys. Oh no. Hey, wait. Um, what did you... Who got the highest number? Me, I oh, think, with a 19. 19, and then you got Rashawn. 12. And then Tordrick got a 13. Because I can add a d4 to somebody. I don't think it's going to help you two either way. Um... Maybe like, Roshan and Tordrick, but... Like, even with 13, the maximum you can get is 
Seven Probably not enough for a dragon save. Ancient dragon save. This dice does not have numbers on it. That's weird. But we're doing That's an adult dragon. That's just a cube, no, Jillian. I think she's You're... ancient. It's ancient. It's ancient. Yeah. It's... Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I rolled I a lot of ones, if that makes anybody feel better. It does. Honestly, I feel like I should give it to Nana, because even then, it might be like a 20. I would also say give it to Nana. Yeah, yeah. Nana, I have it. Yeah, Nana, uh, roll a d20. Uh, uh, fuck, d20, no, a d4. <laughs> I'd love a d20 to add to that, but okay. D4. I can't do that for you, man. No, that's fair. Uh, I add two, which makes it 21. Good, good. At least it's over 20. Makes sense, you're closest to me. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Nice. Um, so what are our numbers? Mainly, I kind of want to hear what Nana's number is. <laughs> 21. Unprepared for this attack, this gas begins to flood into the alleyway, and Nana, you feel strong against it, but it just fills and coats your lungs instantly. Um, Still? Yeah. Ugh. It is a horrible tightening sensation in the chest that fills all of you. And it seems like there's so much lung power to continue to press out the smoke. And then it, you watch as it jerks its head and like begins to like, it's like a low guttural wail as it like turns its head away, unable to do the full extent of what it was doing. As you see, it begins to like, there is a moment of just like gnashing at the air, a moment of pain as it stops, but <laughs> nonetheless, everybody is going to take... Wait, I failed too? What'd you get? 23. Oh, you're, you 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 succeeded. Oh, okay. So you said everybody. I'm like, oh, fuck. It was higher than 23. <laughs> Just from the talking I was picking up on, I did not know there was a fun 23 in there. Okay, okay. Um, so that turns into this. Well... Everybody except Saga is going to take 34 points of poison damage. Holy shit, guys! Saga, you're sure. going to take half of that. Torject will take half because he has resistance. To Hell yeah, it does. So that's 17. Um, you watch as Loki gnashes at the air and you hear just like a murmur under his breath. Oh, I need to kill you, I guess. <laughs> and it's like a centered inward sort of conversation as it turns its head like downwards. Um, you feel like you were spared a shit ton of hurt by something. Um, Dog, he's still alive in there. And you watch as the dragon lands on a building and sort of recomposes itself. It is about 15 feet up. That is his turn. Uh, now it's Torjic's turn, Finn, you're in deck. Alright, um, Torjic will move Spiritual Weapon and make an attack with it. Uh, that's a two on the die. Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> wow, that, everyone's rolling real bad. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's not gonna do the rolling, uh, and make them roll for a Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead! Wisdom 16. Toll the Dead! Love this spell, guys. 23. Okay, no damage. Okay. Um, calls out there is the sound of bells, but the dragon pushes on. Um, Fen, you are up. Fen only uses full movement to move away from the dragon. Uh, okay. And he will... You need to tell me the number, please. Uh, 35 feet. Thank you. Uh, then he will use his bonus action to cast 
Hunter's Mark on the dragon. Okay. And he will take a shot with his longbow. Okay, go for it. Uh, with sharpshooter, and that will be a 23 to hit. 23 hits. Okay. Four. What the shit, man? Uh... <laughs> um, go ahead and roll all your attacks. Yeah, all right. Uh, so that's... 21 points of damage for the first shot. I'm sorry, I'll roll the attacks first next time. Yeah, uh, um, go ahead. Yeah, second second attack. Yeah, you all are surrounded by buildings. Um, second you attack misses. Um, boxes and alleyways, people who have abandoned like a cart, um, taking the horse and running. Um, you're in the middle of a town. Um, what'd you get, Fen? Uh, second attack missed. Okay. Um, you move back, fire off two shots, one of them sinking in, but it just, it's like it doesn't even notice that this is happening. Awesome. Uh, 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 you look towards it, and is that your turn? That's the end of my turn. Okay, Saga, you are on deck. I'd like to talk to Gorbjorn. Okay. Gorbjorn, you can hear some screaming in the distance, and you hear, uh, you hear the commotion that comes with a dragon attack, and... Mm -hmm. Then next to you, leaning on the edge of the bar, as beautiful as the day you met her, as blue as the day you met her, um, the uproar kind of like leans there and just like places a hand on your drink and you watch it like kind of freeze over a bit. I could help. Do you want to fight for me? I. Then let's go. She like leans in to kiss you and you are like pulled through a dimension door. Hell yeah, Woo! dudes! Um, yeah! Gorbjorn, this is gonna be your full turn is getting here, but <laughs> you land, you have your, you know, actually take a whole turn, you know? <laughs> Why the hell not? Um, you hell land not? smack dab in the middle of the street and see a dragon on top of a building um, and your friend's currently in combat with it. So we are green dragon. Um, I don't have the jump calculator set right, so I don't know if I could just jump up to the building. Um, there are boxes on the side of the buildings. Ooh. So can I get up to the top of this building with the dragon? Um, Bethany Esda says I you can. can. Five, 10, 15, 20, 30. You have 35 feet of movement? I got 40. Then Hell you yeah! certainly can make it onto this Hell building. Yeah! Awesome. I'm going to rage. Runs over screaming, yeah, and then the rage dude. fully kicks in. Gorbjorn! Who just appeared, like, in the, like, kiss kiss position. There's like, oh, fight, and then runs in. <laughs> Let's see. Now I'm horny for battle. Um, um, Saga, you're on deck. Nana, you're after Saga. Got it. <laughs> All right. And then uh, it seems that uh, my sword just, or my club thing, just turns to like pure shadow. Um, oh. But I'm gonna run up to it uh, and try to grapple it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It, wait, is it a large or a gargantuan? It would be gargantuan. Oh, then there, I can't do, dragon. yeah, I can't do anything besides hit it. So I'm gonna hit it. You like kind of size it up and you're like, well, I have this beautiful shadow weapon. Yeah. I must hit. Um, two 11s on the side, so that makes, uh, I believe, a 15 will miss. A 15 misses. You swing and you gauge the, the thickness of this hide. Um, pretty thick. Loki's uh, thick. But how about an 18? Loki's thick. Canon um, and confirmed. 18 does not hit. Okay, so I'm just mad that I just got baited for a kiss and just swinging wildly. <laughs> not used to the weight change with my shadow blade. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's weird. Man. First. Um, Saga, you're up. Um, you can see that like the scars visible on your hands, they have just like more of a blue tint to them as you watch just energy sort of moving through your body, this cold chill. What would you like to do, Saga? Um, 
I think she's gonna hyperventilate for a sec. Uh-huh. Um and then uh goodness. Um I don't know if he's gonna be good at that or bad at that. Only one way to learn. Yeah, I know. This is not great. Um I'm just going to he's he's on a building right now? Yeah, he's on a building. Okay. On a building, on a building. And how far away is that from me? Um, you could get that within about 20-ish feet. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's close enough. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's pretty close to you. He's actually very close to you. Great. Um, Love that. I'm going to cast... Uh, God, it's not very uproary though. I feel like it needs to be like an ice spell. I don't know. I want to cast tidal wave. That's not icy enough, I suppose. Um, uh, is she I'm picky? Sure. I'm also. Um, you don't know. Next to you it. just got it. here. We can <laughs> yeah. flavor it. I mean, I don't know if we could do that. Um, yeah, like, I'm the water's just gonna. Cold. <laughs> it sure definitely not. is. It definitely is. Um, that is a sorcerer spell. So, I mean, if it does surge immediately, then it would. If that's still a thing, um, um, your surge is returned to normal. Oh, okay. Uh, because uh -huh. you said okay. Um, I think that all these tears flowing, um, she's just still flowing. She's just gonna kind of like scrunch her hands up and they kind of gather in her hands and it gathers into this like ball of water that she just kind of like takes and then just chucks and just, just <laughs> screaming the whole time, just chucks this ball of tears. <laughs> And, um, please make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> I'd love to. Uh, do and I have to? Yeah. Um, Orgorn is can directly on this thing. I will cast it with careful spell, and you, uh, succeed. Okay, so he at least succeeds. Yes. And oh. I, did ca I did cast it at third level, though, so, um... You are gonna take some damage, definitely. <laughs> but, yeah, you know you do. Um, eighteen on That'll the dice. Keep you raging. God, it's my turn again, so my reaction is back. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's eighteen. It's an eighteen on the dice, though. Yeah, I have um, not added anything to that. I mean, I don't think a D four is gonna help. Then. No. Um, I'm gonna tell you, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll well, be honest. Probably not. <laughs> that saves. Um, damn. It's what do I expect? Um, great. Takes half damage. Is not knocked prone. Okay. What's our damage? Um, let's see. God, Man, I, feel like, God, I should have done something else. I have nothing. Um, tidal wave. Choo, 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 choo. Okay. Uh, this one. This one. This fight brought to you by Jillian wanted to play an ancient dragon. Um, God damn it, Jillian! Um, it is sadly sixteen damage halved, so eight okay. points of damage to both of you. All it, right. Uh, bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning, so it's halved again for you. So yes. just four. Um, this ball of water just slams into them, and you can see that the like ice has accumulated like sideways across the dragon um, as it freezes almost on impact. And it like turns its head in your direction and like the ice begins to snap as it like looks at you. And if a dragon could smile, that's the energy given to you at the moment. Anything I'm else? Just gonna, I'm just just going to yell, give it back. Uh, and, you uh, yell at this unimaginable sized monster before you. Um, perfect. Nana, you're up or Sean, you're on deck. Uh, how close is Loki? About the same, 20. 20 feet? Ooh, nice. Yeah, he has okay. crash landed on a building. All right, excellent. In which case, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Slayer's Prey, uh, or utilize that feature. Um, so I'm going to get an extra d6 if I can hit him, uh, along with my Hunter's Mark giving me another d6 if I can hit him. So let's oh, find out if also, I can hit him. 
you keep doing that, but while you're doing that, let me mm-hmm. give you guys something that I think will be helpful. Um, mm-hmm. When it comes to distances, don't ask me the distance. Ask if it's within range of this. Ah, fair enough. Is it within 60 feet? Yes. I can cool. do that. That will be faster, I think. Cool. Maybe. That's good. <laughs> I think you are probably correct. Instead of me counting and being like, one, two, and then forgetting instantly because I will. Hell yeah. 24 to hit. 24 hits. Fuck yes. Excellent. Ooh. Uh. All right. So that's going to be. 16 points of piercing damage. Okay. And then I want to hit him again. Go for it. Um, let me double check that thing. Uh, ooh. And uh, since I've just hit that guy, uh, and since it looks like this does not take an action or a bonus action, I want to utilize favored foe. Uh, yeah. You gotta yeah. keep going. I don't know Thank what that you. is cool. off the top of my head. Um, uh, it's gonna... If it's relevant to right now. Yeah. First time on each of my turns that I hit the favorite enemy. So it'll be not this turn, but next turn. Okay. That that will become relevant. Yeah. Neat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I'm going to try and hit him again. Mm, does a 16 hit? 16 does not hit. God damn it. Very well then. Um, I want to kind of come up alongside Saga and kind of help to provide cover for her. Okay, you move over to her. Um, Roshan, you are up. Tordrick is the next player character on deck. Um, Roshan's going to shout at this dragon and say, spit him out. And it's going to echo and shatter on the dragon. Hell yeah. And I need a constitution saving throw. Would love to. Get him, get him. 23? Yeah, of course. Uh, but I rolled almost max damage. 22 uh, halved is 11 plus 9 necrotic damage. Neat. Oh, plus 9. Here we go. And then I will... Uh, Activate some healing power on myself. Do so. And that's it. Um, it's the dragon's turn. It's going to roll to see if it gets its breath weapon back. Please don't. It turns its focus to Gorbjorn. Whew. Welcome back. <laughs> the smoke streams out. And it is going to take its first attack against you. With the damage. Ooh. Okay, either way, monstrous amount. Um, uh, 15 points of piercing damage halved. And... Like you already halved it? No, I did not half it yet. Okay, I got that then. And then nine points of poison damage. It is also going to take its claw attacks against you. That hits, and the second one. <laughs> the second one almost missed. Um, uh, I have uh, an AC of luck. 16. I'm, because it was advantage. I'll, I'll rephrase Oh, advantage. advantage, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> if there was no advantage. Got it. Oh, yeah, you got good. advantage. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Yeah. Um, need multiples of these. Five. Um, 20 damage, half to 10. And then... Ooh. Another 20, half to 10 again. And it's gonna focus in on you. (laughs) And this laughter just moves about the space. I need everybody um, to make wisdom saving throws. Is this against being charmed or whatever my crown does? No, this is not a charming effect. Uh oh. 
What do we got, boys? I got a oh. uh, Don't nobody talk to me unless you have like something in the tea. <laughs> Um, thumbs down if you're, you just know you're not vibing. Uh, what do you think you got? No, I'm bad. Oh, okay, cool. Anybody who thinks they might have done okay? I got a natural 20 with plus one. When Hell Georgia yeah, what did Tordrek get? Uh, he got a six total. Cool. <laughs> Everybody besides Gorbjorn, who I think I may not have been able to do this to anyways, um, is frightened. You will have disadvantage on attacks. Um, and then it's going to take off back into the sky again. Um, it's gonna aim right do I get a reactionary attack? You do. Do the swing. Uh, just uh, 18 to hit? 18 does not hit. Okay, I'm just gonna as do it normal takes hit. off laughing as it makes its way. And you can see that like a lot of the um, the smoke from its mouth, a lot of it is starting to accumulate slowly on the ground. Like it's low by your feet. Um, so it's nowhere near breathing, but it just sticks around unsettlingly. You can't see the ground as easily. Um, that is his turn. Um, Tordrick, is up? Then you're on deck. Uh, who's really low? Group on health. I'm at about uh, half. I think uh, right. Saga's probably the lowest, right? Probably. Um, I got some temp HP, so that oh. helped out. Um, from the... might be the lowest. I think this. Uh, okay. Too bad he can't twin spell this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bad. Not a sorcerer. God, I'm on the wrong character sheet. No wonder. Okay. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. Where's all my healing spells? Womp yeah. womp. Here we are. To at second level, he's going to cast Cure Wounds on you, Nana. Oh, thank so you. So you get... How high in the air is he again? Or can my spiritual weapon move 20 feet to hit him from where he was? Was the spell you just did a bonus action? Uh, No, I just did... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went up wounds. that way. You know, sure, he can reach. Gotcha. So Nana heals th uh, 13. 13, thank you. Yeah. Nice. Then he gets an very attack nice, with a spiritual nice. weapon, which will miss, and that's his turn. Okay, um, runs in, guns a-blazing to get the team still on their feet. Fen, you're up. Gorbjorn, you're on deck. Fen's gonna take two shots with a uh, sharpshooter. Okay, you have disadvantage on all of your attacks. Okay, all right. I'll take longer Lightened. than I wanted to. All right. Only so much I can do. Yeah. Um, well, the first one's a critical miss. So uh, yeah. second shot is... Uh, they're both the same, uh, so that makes it a 23 to hit. 23's hit. Okay. Uh, nothing's within five feet of it. No, it's in the air. Okay. Is Gorbjorn up there? No. Oh. That'd be rad, he though. Just... Yeah, he was just, <laughs> I remember he was close. He was closer. Yeah, it than... just took off. Got it. Okay, okay. That's, uh, 20 points of damage with those shots and finally uses full distance to move even further from the group. Uh, just off in the middle of nowhere by himself, 35 feet. Okay. Um, currently, because it's in the air, you still have visual. If it lands because of the amount of buildings, you're going to start losing visual. I want to, I want to maintain visual contact with it. Uh, so whatever that takes, I, Theater of the mind, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to be able to still see it. I just want to be further from everybody else so that we don't all get caught in the same breath weapon again. That's the same. That's okay. The, yeah. Um, and I won't do this normally, but go ahead and roll all of your attacks and damage before it's your turn. Okay. All right. Just yep. go sorry. ahead and do it. No, sorry it's fine. Again for not having dice. <laughs> 
Uh, no, just I think that'll be the best way for now. Gorb, you're up. Saga, you're on deck. Gotcha. This thing is a hundred feet in the air. A hundo mm. feet in the air? Full hundo. Uh, a full hundo. You telling me a full hundo. <laughs> a full hundo. Yeah. This dragon. <laughs> this dragon, man. Is there anything uh, I do to shake the disadvantage, by the way? Or am I rolling? Oh, yes. Thank you. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Yeah. Is that start or mm-hmm. end of turn? End of turn. That's a net, net 20. So, uh, oh, 20 you shake it. All right. Hell cool. Yeah, dude. Cool. Well, I won't you. roll the rest of these with disadvantage unless I get hit with that same poison again or uh, fr- fear. All right. Cool. We'll see if Tordrick oh. wants to cast Aura of Purity or a uh, Beacon of Hope. One of those could help. I could, but he already did his turn, I feel like. I, well, I know, I know. When his, his turn was before the fear thing, so I think. Uh, right? Okay, what's Gorbjorn up to? Yeah. Uh, Since it's just so far away, uh-huh. uh, he, Gorbjorn's going to think, if I keep running across these buildings, I'll be able to get to him. So he's just going to run out 40 feet on top of the buildings and whatnot. Okay, so this building you'll have, um, it's going to be difficult terrain because a dragon squashed it, but you can start running. Gotcha. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It's just like jumping from broken beam to broken beam. Um, Actually, I think it's only fair. Um, I'll even let you do athletics, but I need a roll for walking on this destroyed destroyed roof. Uh, That would be a 23. Oh, yeah. Graceful, beautiful even. Amazing. Um, I imagine I only just like frog jump and then like everything behind me is destroyed as I leave it. Oh yeah, this building's wrecked. I hope they have insurance. Um, Saga, you're up, Nana, you're on deck. Uh, oh, uh, oh gosh. Um, not looking happy. Uh, still no change there. Um, she's going to cast, uh, her, uh, well, normally she does like those floating squids. They're just going to be balls of ice um, nice. that are shaped like teardrops. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. Me, I am hurt, okay? I am um, hurt emotionally and physically. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, casting it at fourth level, so I have extra one, two. I have an extra two. Um, I will use my bonus action to send two of those out at the creature. Does it have a range of at least 100 feet? Uh, it has a range of, where the fuck is it? 120 feet. Oh, there you go. Go ahead and, um, roll for it or I roll for it. What's up? Uh, they need to make a dexterity saving throw. I shall do it twice. Yes. Over a 20. Dexterity? Yep. 17. Oh, I can bend luck on that. Ah. You could? Uh, I... What does it take to cast bend luck? Or use A reaction. Bend? You could use your reaction. Yeah, and it casts two sorcery points, but I have I have two left. I'll All right. You doing do it? Do that. Yeah. All right. Take a D4. Take a D4 off of 17. 13. Yes, thank God. Okay. <gasps> yeah, no oh. damage. Okay, uh, so the first one is going to be half damage, second one full damage. It's just, it's fire damage, technically. Uh, supposed to be. Even though hey, you want to make it ice damage? Ice. I mean, hopefully it he doesn't have resistance, but yeah. Sure, let's make it cold damage. You didn't, you, you, we'll find out. Oh god, don't do this to Jillian. You'll find out. Okay, the first one did four damage, but halved, so it's gonna be two. Okay. Uh, and the second one, let's roll nice for this one. <laughs> nice. Oh fuck, it did! It rolled two, I rolled two sixes! Okay, twelve! <laughs> okay, oh, awesome! Yeah. Actually did good. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Um... They seem to do the full extent of what they were sent there to do. Good. Okay. Uh, that was my action and my bonus action. I am still frightened. Do I save for that? Try to save for that? 
Um, yes, at the end of your turn, you go for it. It is the end of my turn. Uh, I would go just towards it uh, as oh. close as I can. Wisdom saving throw to see if you can actually do that. Right. Oh, it's the end of your turn anyway, so you can't move after this, but go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh, I would. I want to, and so I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> I'd like to go this way. <laughs> Natural 20. All right. Back in. Um, you all push through this. Um, fuck this guy. Yeah. No, absolutely fuck this guy. Um, yeah. He's not I scary. Have, he's a dick. Um, I have far worse things that just happened in my brain that I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, um, also, you push through. Uh, I... Holy close. Don't surge, but got... Wait, did I roll for... What did I cast last turn? Uh, I cast... Tidal Wave? Tidal Wave. I don't think I rolled... Did I Did I roll for that one to surge? Is that on your staff? I... No, it's not. Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell Wait. you. I can't remember. Let's just say I surge. Love to hear it. Sure. Go ahead and start rolling. Send me the numbers and I'm going to move along. Yeah, thanks. Nana, you're up. Roshan on deck. All right. Um, Nana being frightened, she can't get any closer to Loki, but she absolutely can still attempt to shoot at him. With um, disadvantage. With disadvantage. Yes, indeed. And she will try and shake that off at the end of her turn. But for right now... Oh, nice! First one. Disadvantage gets me uh, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Fantastic, which means I'm going to be adding on not just Hunter's Mark, not just uh, Slayer's Prey, but also Favored Foe uh, to the damage on this one. By all means. All right. So that's going to be... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Fourteen points of piercing damage. Okay. And uh, gonna wind back for another one. <clears throat> Ooh. Uh, nineteen to hit. Nineteen does not hit. Ah oh, well. Ah, uh, it's fine. In which case, Nana is going to. Uh, Saga moved away, right? I Saga have. did not move. She she could did not move. But I look like I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Nana's gonna stick close by and um, try and just push through this fear thing and not run. Go ahead and roll Wisdo. Saga needs her. Wisdo? Yeah. Oh, that's real sad. That's very sad. That's only a five. Uh, you are <laughs> still frightened. Sure um, you see am. Saga very determined to go forward. You can't imagine doing that at this point in time. Um, Roshan, you are up. Tordrek is the next player character on deck. Roshan's going to say, uh, you're not scary, you're just a dick. Um, <laughs> and it, Don't take my words from me! <laughs> it comes out as a terrified whisper, a, a dissonant whisper even, and I need a Ooh. wisdom saving throw. I mean, you could probably just say you pass and that'd be fine, but. All right, listen, <laughs> I'll roll. Wisdom. 18. Yep. Uh, so you take half of 13 plus nine. Sorry, I'm out of I'm out of bend lux. I can't help with that one. Give me the, the number on that. Um, <laughs> Don't ask this of me. Six plus nine is 15. 15 Thank damage, you. and uh, I will look to, uh, Fen is out of range. I will look to Nana and say, we, we can do this, right? And you get uh, some hesitant bardic inspiration, a D8. Huzzah. And Roshan's going to fly another 30 feet up in the air. Neat. Um, keep track of your height for me, if you'd be so kind. Can do. Neat. Appreciated. Um, that is Roshan's turn. Loki's turn. He's going to roll to see if he gets his breath weapon back. Scanning the area, another wince in like as pain rises up from its stomach. A deep breath. 
and it begins to lower rapidly. It does not fully land. It probably, actually, it lands on the building in front of Gorbjorn again and smiles and smoke billows out. I need... See, the thing is, when you just don't have a 90-foot cone on hand. <laughs> oh, poor you. Poor me. Everybody except Fen. Even um, if I'm 60 feet up in the air? Would, will the cone do this? Oh, no. Sometimes, <laughs> like, some, sometimes we point the cone down. down. <laughs> yeah. No, this, well, actually... You win this round, I'm convinced. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's good because it probably would have killed me. <laughs> you better believe it would have killed you. How about if I'm not just... that, then definitely the falling damage from falling from a height. Shh. How about I'm just well, not in it? Why don't we say that as well? That would like, be preferred. Can... Uh huh. If you're below a 20, don't even talk to me. Um, <laughs> 21? <laughs> I think 21 failed last time. 21 failed last time. Uh, this is a what save? Uh, this is con. Uh, so I got a 26. Tordrick got a 7. Anybody get in the 20s? Um, besides uh, 20s that we know works. Besides Gorbjorn. <laughs> the right kind. The good kind. Um, if you guys can get the good kind of saving throw, that would be great. Um, oh, that. can I use Bardic Inspiration on that? Yeah. Well, yeah. Breathing yeah, hard. I, <laughs> I want to save my Bardic okay. Inspiration for getting rid of this fear. Yeah, I want to not die. That would be nice, too. Oh, fucking what? Okay, does a 22 make it? A 22 makes it. Oh! oh! <laughs> I rolled a 1. <laughs> So, um, Gorbjorn and Saga both succeeded um, fighting against this gas that fills the area. Um, you can see that it first cannot continue to do the full extent of its breath weapon that it would like to. Um, and you can just kind of see it gnash its teeth, angry at its inability to fully kill you all in a round, you know? Um, furious that you are still standing and that it cannot do what it wants. Um, so that is going to be, God, it was so much damage, um, 35 poison damage to everybody who failed, half to the people who succeeded, and half to Tordrecht. How much gotcha. again was it? 35 if you failed. Oof, yep. That and Fen's, Fen's out of this thing. And it's 17 if you made it or have yeah. resistance. There you go. Uh, with that, I probably hold up my arm and the last of that uh, ice armor of Agathis melts away from the prison. All right. I don't, don't have that anymore. Yeah, but boy, oh boy, was it helpful for while she was here. <laughs> oh, gosh darn, it sure was. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, uh, uh, is uh, Hellish Rebuke only melee damage or is it any damage Hellish okay. rebuke is any damage any damage but right. it's how far away oh no it got in my it's face. actually not that far away 60 feet uh but have you, you you used a reaction recently yes you did i used it on my turn yeah so you so haven't it gotten my turn yet okay so yeah. no hellish rebuke today but maybe later um i'll hit you in a moment don't worry um <laughs> thank you um <laughs> That's his turn. Tordrecht is up. Fen, you're on deck. Um, um, Fen, this thing now has partial cover, by the way. I have sharpshooter. I'm not concerned. <laughs> I'm never concerned. Um, what do we got, Tordrecht? Um, who's really bad? I know you're in the air, uh, and then Saga was already low. I'm not doing great now. I know Roshan also is not doing great, so... Um, Roshan's about halfway. Yeah, so am I. I think we're both. Okay. Um, you can twin spell. Yeah, just turn, become a sorcerer quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody levels up. Um... 
<laughs> oh, good. <laughs> and we all heal <laughs> immediately. Oh, uh, oh, good. Can he get to Gorbjorn? He was- Gorbjorn's on a roof. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I said. All right, then, Saga, you're getting 2d8. <laughs> Oh yeah, how is he gonna get to Roshan? Isn't he up, up in the yeah, air? Yeah, he can't really, so... <laughs> oh, He's no. gonna go over and give some healing to Saga. So you get 9 HP. Thank uh, you. Alright. Oh. Um, and Fenrir... Artist action sent his uh, spiritual his, his weapon. dead to start bonking. Yeah, go for it. Um, I gotta clear all these D6s out of my dice tray. I believe that will miss. You won't need them again. Oh, what do we see? Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, okay, then. Um, Fen, you're up. Gorbjorn, you're on deck. Saga, you're after Gorbjorn. Okay. All right, is Are any of my party members within 10 feet of this thing? I am. Yeah, Gorbjorn is. Uh, how's Gorbjorn looking? Uh, from um, you can't horrible. really see him. Okay. Then I'm not going to use the thunderclap arrows that I thought I was going <laughs> to you're like, oh shit, he's somewhere on that roof. Yeah, all right. Well, so he I is giant. All of this in advance, because you asked me. Well, right. he's, yeah, he's huge. I mean, he might not. You might actually hit him. Uh, like, really depends. Like Gorbjorn. It? He can't see where Gorbjorn is. It would be a risk, but he could try. Does Does an eighteen hit? Eighteen does not hit. Okay. So this thing's uh, because I did hit with a crit. Um, this thing's gonna take fifty-six points of damage. That's uh, that's the one hit I got. Oh, the one hit was a crit. The one hit was a crit. Fifty-six. Okay. Nice. That's a lot of damage. I hope it's enough. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be enough. But well, it's although a lot I, hope, of I hope it, I hope it contributes to enough. The oh, arrow definitely contributes. Lands into the side of its face, <laughs> and it like bites the end of it, and it falls out. And its eyes begin to scan. Oh, I've no. got more asshole. And that's He's got more asshole. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. better believe I have asshole for days. <laughs> asshole um, for days. Yeah, I'm so Start yelling at it. <laughs> um, I got I'm more sorry. asshole than you, asshole. <laughs> um, Gorbjorn, you're up. Saga, you're on deck. Um, yeah. Live fast, die hard, right? Um, yeah. Hell yeah. Reckless, great weapon master. So that's uh, 24. Three to hit. Twenty-three hits. Uh, oh. uh, that's twenty-three damage. Okay. Second attack. Uh, I believe an eighteen misses. It's so close to being a twenty, but it fell back. Nah. Um, and that is <laughs> my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn. Uh, it is going to use a legendary action for a wing attack. Gotcha. Um, I need a dexterity saving throw from Gorbjorn. Uh, rolled a three and a two. So, oh, no. uh, uh, six total. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> neat. You are going to take... Seven points of bludgeoning damage, and you are knocked prone on the building. Oh, gotcha. boy. Um, and then it is going to move half of its speed upwards. Um, so it's going to go up about, we're about 20 feet up. And then, so we're about 90 feet. Wait, half. Jillian, do math better. About 50 feet in the air. Um, and that was his reaction. After Gorbjorn's turn, Saga, you're up. He is now uh, 50 feet up. Sorry, repeat that? He is 50 feet up. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I am going to my things. Oh, I'm going to roll a saving to concentrate on uh, my teardrops. Mm-hmm. I do. I rolled a 17 plus 5. Um, Ooh. so that's okay. And I'm going to shoot two more with my bonus action. So okay. two more dexterity saving throws. Can do. Love to see it. 
first one is a nat one. Oh, wow, shit. Wee. And that then the second one's over a 20. Oh, okay, sorry. so one of them, the first one is full damage, second one is half, of course. Um, so the first one is five Ooh. points of damage. Okay. And the second one is uh, five halved to two. Okay, so that... And that is my bonus action, so I had six... No, I have four. I have four more of those. Uh, for later. Um, <laughs> you know. Yep. You can have later. Them. As a treat. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Anna, you're on deck, just a reminder. And then he's 50 feet away from me, which means yes. if I cast something that was a 60 foot cone, yes. it, it, would, hit it him. would hit him. That's, that's, that, that math checks out. That too. is math, correct. So I've I done a math going... before. Yes. <laughs> Usually uh, remedial, the... but <laughs> here we are. <laughs> The teardrops are going to spin around my head faster and faster until it kind of looks like a crown. It's adorable. Um, <laughs> she can do it. And, and, uh, I'm just going to kind of again uh, do, a, do another scream holding my staff, slam it down, and uh, basically what looks like um, the... Uh, the I'm gonna flavor it like this, and you tell me if it doesn't happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what looks like the uproar is just gonna like s burst out of my staff and slap this thing. Um, I love but it. It's a I already love it's it. A it's real. It's canon. Okay. It's a cone yeah. of gold. Like, get it together. <laughs> yes. Please make a Constitution saving throw. I would love to. Thank you. Sixteen. That's my save! Oh, I was just like, oh, I rolled so low! <laughs> oh, but that means that he saves then! He do. Oh, god, and I'm out of things! You are. No! Okay. Okay, Damn. it's fine. I'm not mad. Um, <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Anything else, Saga? Uh, well, I'd like- oh, no, he still takes half damage. Okay, give me the damage. Yes. I will. Let me just... It's gonna be, uh, 8d8 cold halved. So let me just find some more d8s so I don't need to roll these two d8s a bazillion times. Uh, there's one. There's one. I'll just roll these ones twice. I wish I could roll less dice like you guys. Uh, okay. Um, these 22 d6s are so many. <laughs> I'm Jesus so tired Christ. of counting. <laughs> We're so sorry, DM. Thank you, We're guys. We're so sorry that you chose an ancient dragon to threaten us with. You right. <laughs> Not an ancient dragon. It's a fucking god. It's a god, <laughs> but he's vibing currently as an ancient, as an ancient dragon. 44 points of damage, then oh. halved. So 22 points of damage. Okay. Nice. Still wish it was the 44, but would've it's been nice. fine. <laughs> it would have been... Really been very nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that is my action and my bonus action. And then for my movement, I will continue to move as close as I possibly can, as as much as that yeah. works. It's not, there's not much you can do because it's mostly going up. But yeah. you can move in a bit. Yeah, I'm just going to okay. move in and just, just start, like, yelling... Uh, just, just kind of, it's a bit of nonsense, but it's mostly just saying, like, cursing him for what he did to Broggy and yelling about, like, the stuff that's going, that's going through my head. And it's, it's, it sounds like nonsense to just about anyone else, but because it is nonsense and I yeah. <laughs> can't fathom what's happening right now. All right. No. Nana, you're up. Roshan, you're on deck. Gee whiz. Okay, so... Nana's still frightened, so still got the disadvantage, but, um, I mean, not a heck of a lot more to be done besides attempt another, uh, bow attack, because I can't get closer. Hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, that's not gonna hit. Okay, next. Next. 
Rapid fire, boys. Not gonna hit. God damn. All right, I, I would I would very much like to try to shake. Go it. for it. It's it's not a you, y'all don't have to ask. The wisdom save. Fifteen. Sorry. God damn. Everybody else rolled nat twenties, <laughs> so they got Thanks, out. Thanks, guys. Nana's just stuck in fear land. She's just posting up on. Get wait. good. Oh wait, could I add bardic <laughs> inspiration to that? You could. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to stop being a feared. Go for if it. If I can possibly manage that, that would be nice. Um, nineteen. Ah, nineteen is on the dot. Yes, oh. thank fuck. You did it. Jesus. There you I go. No it. longer afraid. Uh, Roshan, you're up. Tordrick is the next player on deck. Uh, uh Roshan is going to say something me. like. Boo, you whore! And yeah! uh, nice. its whispers carry across the field. I need a wisdom saving throw. Just out of spite, I'm going to use <laughs> a legendary um, resistance to succeed. <laughs> out of spite, um, I don't want. How to. many of those does he have uh, today? None of your business. Probably. Then he Three. takes um but probably the normal amount. <laughs> yeah. Uh sixteen damage this time. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> that yeah, was that would have been that good. wasn't not a bad idea. Um, mm -hmm. um and then Roshan's going to uh move if he needs to, uh, because Bardic Inspiration is sixty feet. I'm sixty feet up. So can I go like right over Gorbjorn? How far is your fly? Um, well, it's quite far since I've got my spell still up. Um, is it within oh. 70 feet is my question. Um, it is not actually. Okay, how many feet would you like to move if any? Um, I would still like to move to on top of him uh, 30 feet closer. Yeah, you start and, flying over. Uh, since I cannot reach him, then I will healing word myself. You're like, <laughs> tough. He moves 30 feet closer and he's still not 60 feet away from Gorbia? No, because I'm 60 feet in the air. Oh, dang, you got high. <laughs> he's real up there, boys. <laughs> Yes. So high, high. And right. I heal some. Um, you hurl this insult at him, and he's like, his eyes narrow on um, Fen, and then they shift a bit. So did you add your necrotic <laughs> uh -oh. damage? Yeah. Awesome. I can. <laughs> it would be so much funnier if you fell. Um, oh and you God. just hear these this laughter fill the space. A flap of the wing, it's going for Roshan. Oh, no. Mm. Does anybody get opportunity attacks as he leaves? Uh, he was in the air. Yeah. Damn, they weren't near him. He was already in the air. He goes for Roshan. Mm. He's going to make Dead. his bite attack. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's over a 30. Oh, <laughs> yeah, God. yeah. It, it absolutely um, is. Oh, I no. haven't been using the fun stuff. Oh, no. Probably. I don't oh. even know if it's going to... You healed yourself, but it might... <laughs> it's, it's, it's 17 points of piercing damage. Okay. And... God. 14 points of poison damage. <sighs> okay, so I'm sitting pretty at uh, 2 health. Holy oh, wow. shit! Um... I'm going to slam my hands into both sides of this dragon's face and tell it to burn and cast yeah, Hellish buddy. Rebuke. I okay. need a dexterity save. Dex save. 18 on the dice. Uh, well, it saves, but it still takes. Oh, it's going to take a little damage. A little damage. A little damage. Just a hint. A little damage. Half of 28, 14 damage. 14. Ooh. Nice. 
you can see the wear and tear on this beast. And oh, it seems that it's yeah. been having an internal fight as well. Oh, hell um, indigestion. Yeah. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a rough day. <laughs> You know, when you meet family, it's a lot. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, when you have you, a, a bard, sometimes breathing heavy fun. as you basically are holding its face in your hands, and it's like rest. And a claw just slams down on you hard. Um, uh oh. No, no, no. 19 on the dice. Oh. Ah. It doesn't hit for some reason this time. It's weird how it does <laughs> it's, not hit. It's Funny, it's weird. Roshan, your eyes fl- is this is this enough? Oh, no. Uh, more than two damage is enough. Oh golly, one and no! a half. Um, in and the last thing you see is this dragon's face. And then like it looks like a dark hand reaching towards you as you just full speed fall straight towards the ground from 60 feet up. Shit. Uh Roshan! And- Oh, this is why you... we're talking about Featherfall. <laughs> Just talking about this. And Roshan, you land gracefully. Um, you don't know this happened, but you are spared from um, the falling damage. Wow. Oh. So no Ooh. lost death saves. Ask and ye shall receive. Huzzah! Is anybody within range for me to get to you? Probably. Um, Bring eeny, it. meeny, miny. Bring it. <laughs> One moment, I only have so much fly speed, um, and is going to just turn ever so slightly its focus to Saga. Oh, hi. Which means it lands directly in front of Nana and Tordrecht um, and Saga. Can I call it a cunt as a reaction? Yeah, you're welcome to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout that. Uh, whatever the most impolite word in Midgard is, that's what and- I shout at this as a reaction. It poop. Um, it lands. It poop. Big old poopy. Yeah, big, big, big poop. <laughs> Psychic damage well, is dead. Um, I never takes his last claw attack against Saga. No, not allowed. Over a twenty. Fuck. Um, let me grab these dice here for your viewing pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Gosh, what a lucky day for you. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, please don't kill me. <laughs> 17 points of slashing damage. I rolled and very bad. Is there poison? Not with the claw. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Hellish, hellish rebuke. <laughs> with ice this time. Yes. Fire hell and ice hell, both represented Eight. equally. Eight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, but oh, still will take half. Basically, uh, as he, I'm guessing it's a claw, right? Claw slam? That's what you yeah. said? Then, uh, the side of my body, or wherever on my body where the claw comes down, just ice spikes grow out of me. <clears throat> and then its hand, like, gets stabbed by some ice spikes. They're tiny nice. spikes, though. That's why it doesn't do that much damage. Aww. That's fine. I'm, I'm still learning. Okay. Um. Okay, okay. Uh. 12 halved to six. Okay. It's, it's, it, I, can I cast it at any level or can I only cast it at first level? I mean, I'd assume you could cast it at any level, but what do I know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You gave it to me, so. I don't, I don't know. know. I just gave it to you and then here we are. <laughs> oh. uh, could I, could I up cast it, please? Not yet, because we already oh. know that, we already know what happened, but next time you can. Um, oh, <laughs> wanted to do more damage. But they wanted to do so much damage. Um, okay, I'll see if- that's the end of his turn. Tordrix up, Fenrir on deck. Um, this thing is uh, basically out of view because it's on the street, so you'd have to move back in. Uh, um, what's so up, Tordrix? Tordrix can get to Saga, right? Oh yeah, he can easily. He skirts between the dragon's legs and moves over to her. Uh, healing word or er, laying. On his hands, a good dwarven drunkenness. Ten. I'm you, baby. I smack. <laughs> <laughs> good oh, sentence. Gotcha. He's been, also, <laughs> like Saga, you eventually kind of stop screaming, and you realize Tordrek's been screaming the whole time. Oh no! Uh, you feel twenty-eight, <laughs> Saga. 
Oh Ooh, shit! Really? Wow. Holy shit! Yeah. Nice. And then uh, attack with the spiritual weapon. Natural twenty. <gasps> Fuck oh, yeah! Wow. Tor direct. Get it. Wreck their shit. Um, that is. Let's see. Sixteen damage of force. All right. This thing looks real bad. <laughs> he looks terrible. It's just like wheezing Beat as the smoke up. comes Beat out and up. sputters. And there's like the occasional neck spasm as it's fighting against something else. Um, <laughs> anything else from Tordrick? Uh That was his action and bonus reaction, or bonus uh, action. Uh, Fen, you are up. Gorbrain, you're on deck. So unless anybody's was with was anybody within five feet of this thing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All it right. landed oh. directly in front of people. He <laughs> just me smacked roll, me in the face. Let yep. me roll one more thing. Um, all right. So <clears throat> with uh with. One shot I miss. Okay. But with the other shot I get. Uh, I, I I assume I hit with a twenty-one, right? Twenty-one. One just hits. Okay. Oh, oh, God, is it AC going up? Jesus Christ! All nope. right. it's been twenty-one the whole time, boys. <laughs> All right. Um. So with the uh, with the second shot, is a forty-one points of damage. All right. Oh, come on, um, come on. Hard hits into the side near its like chest. Um, just a wheeze. You can see smoke starting to billow out, and for like the people in front of it, can see like the eyes shift, starting to shift rapidly from dragon eyes to human eyes to many, many a color. Um, uh, but still stands, breathing hard, struggling Aww. to kind of keep itself up. What does everybody else look like? All the rest of the party. What's everybody? Um, sadly, from your point of view, you are blocked by a huge dragon. Okay. Well, I'm. Mm. I'm okay. I. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, not much Fen can get at this time. Um. Gorb, you're on your up. Saga, you're on deck. Uh, I believe a twenty-three will hit. You have to get up from prone. That's half my movement. And you're on this building, which is difficult terrain. Uh, I have 20 movement left. Okay. Five, 10, 15. Um, you, you make it, you silly oh, bitch. Oh. oh, wow. Um, actually before you go, you can keep running forwards. That's fine. Um, I'm going to use a legendary action. Uh -oh. Gotcha. Oh, um, shit. To do a, I'm going to do a wing attack against. Um, no, I'm going to do tail. Tail attack. Tail attack against Nana. Oh shit! Oh boy, guys. Over a twenty. Oh boy. Um, Bernard dies. 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Oof, Ooh. Nana is down. That tail smacks her hard into a wall. There's <laughs> a snap of bones just from the impact and then the loss of breath slamming into the wall behind you as you slump down unconscious. Okay. So I did 22 damage with the first attack. Wow. Uh, and then does a 21 hit? 21 just hits? Uh, that is 28 damage on the second attack. This is Psychic, by the way, with his weird oh, rage shit. going on. Fun. Oh, shit. Mm. Cool shit, dude. And what was the second one? I'm sorry. Uh, it was 28 damage. Oh, there you go. Ooh, spicy. Um, good. You slam into the side of this thing's chest and even though it's more of a bludgeoning sword, which is a strange thing to say, um, sometimes, uh, a part of it is carved out and from the inside of the body, uh, 
you watch uh, the horribly sticky, um, oh god, blood covered body of Bragi slip from Holy out from inside shit. it. The and absolute madman. The dragon looks down like unsettling. <laughs> yeah, you and shouldn't eat them laugh. alive. Um, That's where babies come from. <laughs> right from the plume. Um, well, your daddy sliced open a dragon. <laughs> that's where you came your from. Own, you need to take responsibility for your own actions. Um, Gorbier, are you done? Uh, I believe I am. Cool. I'm going to take another legendary action because I, I'm I'm a wearing... legend. <laughs> Bitch is a legend. Because I'm a legend, yes. Um, Gorbjorn came over. Sug is still here, and we have feelings. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, but I've been hitting him since the beginning. <laughs> like, it's true. <laughs> you are. Uh, you you tried to steal his leg. I'll attack you. <laughs> this is for the leg. Um, this one's for the leg. Yeah. <laughs> take my leg. See what happens. Uh, oh, wow. Holy shit. Max damage, boys. Oh, boy. Oh, holy shit. Um, but oh, that's okay. Um, tw uh, uh, 24 oh, half to 12 for Gorbjorn. As the tail slams into you and you kind of dig your feet into the ground. Um, it's <sighs> breathing hard and just like the, the smoke is slowly dripping from its mouth. Um... Yeah, I'm done here, Saga. Um, I surged a little while ago. It was way. nothing super relevant. Okay, okay, great. Um, no, don't you worry just, about it. <laughs> just thought I'm sorry I didn't say anything. It was you know. I like have a flower in my hair now or something. It's yeah, you're just like, like just, yeah. huh. <laughs> all, right, all right. Um, didn't don't even notice. Okay. Uh, just thought I'd check in on that, just in case. Um, then, uh, uh, can I quickly, I don't, quickly see, is Broggy look dead? <laughs> um, I'm going to say it's actually very hard to tell without going over to him. How far away? Um, you could get there within your movement. You, technically you wouldn't leave its range, but, um. Then I will just run over there. Okay, you move over to Bragi. Um, and for an action, you can do a medicine check. I... You don't have to, but that's what it would be. Okay. Just, can I just look down and see if he has all of his limbs and his head? <laughs> like, is he all there, every piece? Limbs, head, present. Mangled, okay. very much so. Uh okay. <laughs> He's all there, that's good. Then I'm going to look up, and um, two more uh, teardrops come down, and then with the with my other hand, uh, a bolt of light, blue light, is going to come out when I cast Guiding Bolt. But first, make two deck saves. All oh, very nice. Okay, so half damage on both those. Um... First one is, uh, I rolled a three, so it's one damage. Perfect. Take that, yeah. And uh, the next, oh yeah, two for the next one. Wait, yeah, yep, yeah, two for the next one. Okay. Big ol' three, uh, nice, nice. Living in okay. with a big solid three damage, please. Um, three oh, damage. Um, and uh, light, yeah, so those, those come down, you know, they're just, for show. <laughs> and it's just an experience. Guiding bolt. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to try to guiding bolt him. Um, it's at fourth level. Okay. Oh, God. Um, if I used inspiration, would I need to say I'm using it beforehand? No, not Bardic. No, no, no. Uh, the inspiration that I got for um, Christmas. No. But you can okay. use it to roll with advantage if you'd like to do it that way. Like, could I roll and then if I roll real bad, I can roll again? Yep. Okay. My Christmas okay. advantage. Uh, I, uh, roll again? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Can I tide the chaos? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Go okay. for it. Get I, it. Fuck I, not. I got an eight. Just, 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 just so you know, uh, the first one was a six. The second one was a ten. The highest would have been eighteen for those. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. Come on, buddy! Thank goodness. Okay, I rolled a nineteen plus eight. There you go. Twenty-seven. Yes! That certainly yes! hits. Roll damage. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes! you. I hit with one yes! spell. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Damn, this is so. I was. Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so Get sad. Him. Okay. Um. Seventy-six. <clears throat> Go for it. Uh, four, five, six. Uh, I don't have a seven. I'll just roll one of them again. Uh, ten, sixteen. Thank you all for sticking through this nightmare. Um. <laughs> called Big Boy Combat with Big Boy Boy. Um, uh, big Boy Boy. Big, big 22 boy boy. points of damage. And uh, the next attack has advantage as he glows with a... I th I'm thinking it's like a frosty uh, like essence that starts to come out of the outside of where the, where the wound nice. hits in. That is amazing. Would you tell me how you do this? Oh, goodness. Oh, shit! Okay. How cinematic, um, I love to see it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, then. Um, uh, okay, uh, where am I? Like, I'm beside You're Ragnar. directly it, in front of it. Is his face yeah. here? It could be. It could lower. Okay, okay. Um, then uh, the two, one teardrop kind of just hits him in the face. It's almost like a, it's, they, they did like no <laughs> damage. It's like a slap in the face and another slap in the face. And I'm just kind of like screaming. Uh, and then, it's just like... This is why nobody wants to be your friend! Oh, shit! <laughs> and then I just... <laughs> and then, um, it's just kind of like, uh, two, two hands of light. Um, uh, this blue, like, icy light. And I'm just going to... Right up the neck. Yeah. With, with light. And it's and it's not it's not like a cut him in half kind of light. It's just mm. like this frost that like consumes. Nice. Okay. This frost just moves through the dragon's body rapidly. And you watch as it like freezes upwards and tenses. And then you watch the rapid color shifting as it begins to turn more skin tone and the body like kind of falls in on itself. And before you, no longer a dragon, but a fully standing man, um, is Loki holding his stomach like where Broggy fell out of. And he like opens his mouth to talk to you, like deliriously trying to focus in on you, Saga, and just gushes of blood spill out as he tries yeah. to talk. Um, just just to see of it and it's just like he's like, like pardon me like excuse me he puts a finger up <sighs> and he looks at you i have a good <laughs> gonna be late for my part-time job <laughs> and he turns and he like vomits up blood on the ground um, you all are officially out of initiative uh, with a woozy Loki standing in front of you. Um, Saga, you hear um, Bragi cough next to you. And he, yeah. all he murmurs out is, don't. Oh, yeah. She was, like, holding her staff like she was going to crack him in the back of the head. <laughs> Stand and shaking. Um, and she surges, by the way. Hell yeah, I'll, I'll focus in on that. You all stand before him. Uh, his eyes, like, he can't seem to focus and kind of, like, looks around like... Uh. <laughs> oh, and he, like, looks over at Broggy. Ooh, oh, terrible. Um, as blood <laughs> just continues to move out. Uh, you can see Broggy trying to move, but seems to be struggling. I, I would like to heal him as well if I have any time before I surge. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can heal, and then I'm going to do the surge. Yes, Nana. Um, I don't know how you want me to do my death saving throws. No, oh, I'd love two questions. of those. I'd like one from each of my unconscious people. I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> oh, uh, and Fordrick will go yeah. over and heal. Um, yeah, I'll heal um, Lana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Tordrick is directly next to her. It'd be insane if he didn't. Yeah, um, exactly. right. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tordrick. You're running over and Tordrick just kind of like reaches a hand <laughs> slightly over. I got this one. Okay. It's all right. Here we go. Okay. Uh, all right, that's good. I, uh, Saga falls unconscious. Oh, do I? Okay. Saga, I you, <laughs> you look to Loki and you look to Bragi. And there is a surge that rips through your body and you drop to zero hit points and collapse onto the ground. Can so I, I didn't her? get to heal him. I would like to heal her. Yeah, <laughs> you go to reach him. You kind of just like fall on top of him and Fen's like, I'm almost here. Um, and you can heal her. Um, can Loki, Loki has deliriously started walking. Yeah, no, uh, Bjorn, Bjorn wants to kill him, please. You can certainly try. Well, he's been trying all day. <laughs> he won't stop now. <laughs> uh, nine, uh, 18 to hit. Um, well, now that we're this guy, we can use spells. 18? Mm-hmm. Shield. Um, stumble. Um, like, it forces him physically to the side, but um, he casts shield. Uh, Roshan's... Damn it, never mind. I used uh, up my last goddamn third level spell. No. Oh, no. Attack. Augie, you got eight points back. <laughs> uh, so okay. 19 to hit? Thank you. Or is shield um, still higher than that? Shield will still block that. Got you. Um, seems kind of like unbothered now. That was very painful. I just think I don't get friends. Just, I don't write. Uh, it's just, just kind of just oozing blood from the mouth. Very rude. Would we kill um, him? Is that should we should we kill him? Broggy. Yes. <laughs> uh, Broggy um, is conscious. He just can't like move, and just Broggy's like, and almost at the same time, Broggy and Loki, you can't. I would very much like to. Um, Broggy like <laughs> like coughs like goop out of his mouth, and like Loki's like, I'd love it as well. <laughs> I'd love it as well, but you can't. Then because you got sad little home. mortal hands with little mortal weapons and they won't work. I've asked, I've tried, and he like vomits up more blood. Um, <laughs> I want to uh, pick, like grab uh, Bragi in my arms and he gets 20 hit points back. Oh shit. Um, um, <laughs> then uh, I want to say, maybe we can't. Somebody like the uproar could, right? It, it is, it's possible. I, and he like looks over at him. And like Bragi sort of like lays his head back against you. I don't know if I can have that. I can't. And takes like a deep breath. Hard. He lost so many, and God, he's disgusting. But I'm tired. I'm Saga. I'm very tired. Yes, Gorbjorn. So technically, his crown is made by a god. Can I destroy <laughs> him by just bashing the crown into his face? <laughs> um. You're just oh. like smacking him with you try you just start running over and he like looks at you he's like you could do if it makes you feel better, but it's not gonna work. Oh my god. There's very specific things you don't have the crown's lovely. It just like hits him across the face. Jesus. Um oh, just no. speaking to Bragi, uh you don't want me to, I, I won't call for her, but with what he did to you. I think he deserves it.
We are... The world is cursed anyway. What is one less god gonna do? Plus... I don't know what he'll do to the Earth. Right here on the ground. What'll become of this place? I don't know. Could be worse. I don't know the rules. I... I would let him rot here. That's what I would do. Okay. Then, eternity with no one, then, eternity alone. And just Have fun in your tower, Loki. He does like a bit of a spin and like does like a very off balanced bow. Have fun with everything else. And just like a smile of red teeth just coated in blood. I'll be here if you need anything. I work in one of these buildings. <laughs> and he just starts to meander um, past the carnage, the gas on the ground beginning to dissipate, just leaving blood in his wake as he wanders away and you can help Broggy to his feet. Mm -hmm. This will be worse. We both, we both know that. It's worse to be alone. He'd rather be dead. Yeah. Yeah. And he looks at you. And kind of just like brushes like a little bit of like ice, just like a little chip that's like on the shoulders, like brushes it off. Saga, if if that's what you'd like to be called, uh, what do you want? One. I need I need to go find him. I need to go find him. I only ask that you let me follow. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I don't want to be alone. I couldn't stand it. Neither could I. Who were we looking for? Lucas. My son. And uh, Saga's gonna turn to the group. Um. Everybody. I need to leave. Separate way. The opera gave me my memories back. Some of them. There's a lot of them. <laughs> a lifetime, you know. Um. I, I. I. I did have a family. There were people. Like I said. I, I had a family and we lived together and I met someone and he was wonderful. And we moved away from my family and that was sad, but we had each other and it was okay. And we were going to have a baby and it was going to be so wonderful and I was so happy. And then he was gone. I don't, I don't, I still can't remember why he, he, he was taken. He didn't leave. He didn't want to leave. We were going to be, we were so happy and somebody took, 
something to Nana think. wants to go forward and give Saga a hug. She'll just kind of lean in. She keeps, like, talking. She doesn't move, really. Um, of course. Of course you have to find him. Not him, though. Not, no. not him. My baby. I did have a baby. I had a son. Lucas? Yes. I took him. And of course. I took him to the cliffs because I thought it would be better. I thought it would be good, but I just left him there. Why did I do that? Why would, why would I leave him there? The legend said <clears throat> many things about the cliffs. Mothers, children. And it sounds as though <coughs> legends were true. No? Lucas lives, doesn't he? Don't know. I... Well, yes. Yes, he does. Yes, I remember. Somebody took him. Gosh. Did they say where? Do you remember? I remember a chief. I called for a chief. Um, I... Soggy, you dwell back on just the memory of it. It is... Mm -hmm. um, just so you have the exact information. Yes, please, thank you. I, no problem. There was it, it all happened real quick and a, a whole dragon fight ago. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Jarl Vivica. Jarl, that's what it was, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, a Jarl, no, a Jarl. Um, Jarl Vivica. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. Um, Would Nana know? Um, Nana can roll history, any... um, Roshan can roll history, and Tordrecht can roll history. Can I get advantage for helping with all of the paperwork with uh, the chief business, um, helping out Hertha? For this particular thing, no. Rats. Okay. Tordrecht got a 12. sobbing. <laughs> Actively weeping. Dirty 20. And Roshan? 14. Okay. Um, Roshan, you have a vague idea. The thing is, Nana, you dwell on it. You don't have a lot of knowledge of the East, especially very far East. And that's where that name sort of rings out to you is somewhere closer, not in Skull City, but closer in that direction. Would have been the Jarl much further east than here. Much, much further. Closer towards Skull City, I should think. Hey. Then that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. I... I... I can't, I can't deal with... I... I, the corruption, I don't know. I can't help. I, I don't think... I can't focus on that. There's nothing. You have to find your son. It's the you only must. thing. Of course. Of course, Saga. We're going to miss you terribly. But you must find him. Find him and hold him close. You all, any, the only thing I ever wanted was to be around people, to not be lonely, and you guys helped me with that. It was a joy. It was a joy to know you and to walk alongside you, Saga Bloom, if you still want to be called so. My last name is Thorn. Thorn. Funny, huh? Oh. Two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Thorn and Bloom. Well, you're a lovely rose, Saga. Thorn. By any name, you'd be just as sweet. You're an amazing leader. You. I... I know what... Uh, the group following you. Everyone will be okay. And 
course, if anyone isn't okay, Tordred, you'll heal them immediately because you are so, so... You're so good. You're so good to your ladies and you're so good to everyone. <laughs> um, and just like wiping <laughs> huge wet tears from his <laughs> face. Um, he runs over and hugs you around the waist. Yeah, I'll uh, kind of put a hand on his head and give him a hug back. Um, and Rashawn, I know you'll find her as well. Your sister. She's she's definitely out there and you'll find her. Because I'm... I know if I can find somebody that I lost... I forgot about and that I lost. You can find her as well. And... I mean... Don't forget about yourself too. No? He just... Nods and stares at the ground. <laughs> okay. No! Just like, oh wow. <laughs> and in a poof of smoke, she was gone. <laughs> God, <no>. Okay. <laughs> I think oh. I'm back. I think yeah, I'm you're back. back. Oh my god! Smoke. <laughs> I was like, "Holy shit!" Now no. this is terrible. Okay. No. Um. Uh. And then uh. Uh. uh I don't know. Uh. Fen is still here. Uh. Gorbion. I don't know where he went. I think he right left. Here. Um. Uh. Fen. Um. Thank you for teaching me everything that you've taught me. I, I haven't obviously remember that many things, but that helped a lot. Yeah. And I've really liked getting to know you and the person that you are and be, have become and everything. And I really can't wait to see what you continue to do. You taught me as many things as I taught you. And I am count myself lucky to have known you. And I hope I see you again sometime. I'm don't like saying goodbyes but until next time saga we'll we'll see you again and let me say we all love you i love all of you you're you're my family now and rbi uh I would imagine he's like trying to take the leg off Loki. Like mm -hmm. he, he hasn't been letting him escape. Really. <laughs> yeah, there's just been a slight scuffle off to the side during this whole thing, and you hear somebody call your name. <laughs> what? Aww. Hi, Bjorn. Um, uh, he'll walk over, yeah. Um, I'm I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Um, but gotta keep this pack in line okay and keep them safe and all that please um while i'm away he looks confused and sad and then he kind of comes in for a slow hug and he's like i i don't know what we'll do without you you always help us get us through the roughest parts especially in the valley mm. This will be okay. And you know what? Like you said, I think I was crying this whole time. But I think I'm gonna stop. I think I'm gonna find a way. Thank you for telling me about it. I'm glad. Keep an eye out. Um. She's just gonna turn back to Bragi. Kind of reach out to grab his hand. Uh, takes your hand in his. Uh, he's a little goopy, but he like tried to like wipe his hand off <laughs> and then and then took your hand. Oh, it's okay. I'm also covered in blood. Um, <laughs> what a pair. <laughs> um, I have to go. I have to go now. Then we have to go. Fare you well, both. And Safe you can see travels. mean mugging next to the um, tavern is the <laughs> angry face of Rose Petals God, glaring 
at people as they run by screaming. <laughs> and uh, I think, uh, yeah, me and Bragi, I'm assuming if he's coming with me, walk over to Rose Petals and I give him a scritch. Thank you for keeping an eye out. It's time for us to go. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's yours. Yeah. 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 Rose, he, rose is petals yours. is yours. We have thick biscuit. You get rose petals. I definitely didn't squish thick biscuit in this combat. Um, but um, Bragi helps you climb atop rose petals. Um, I'm gonna help him also with my yeah. Molder. He like and then he like stares at it for a moment. Um, <laughs> I just make the ground underneath him rise up, so he just has a little elevator and he can operate it. That's very helpful. Um, and then he sort of just like kind of like um, falls onto basically the horse and like kind of sidles up uh, behind you. And you can see that some of the people that worked at the tavern sort of like lean out. Um, and he like looks over at uh, Rosie, the half orc woman. And he's like, it's yours, enjoy. Uh, and she just looks wide in the eyes. Okay, it's, uh, <laughs> um, it's, it's mine. <laughs> uh, just like uh, taking it all in in that moment. Um, and um, Broggy kind of just leans forward a bit and he just like places a kiss on like the back of your shoulder. Aww. I just, um, and a nod and I put one hand on my chest where that little jellyfish tattoo still is. And, uh, with two teardrops still flying around my head, if we ride off into the sunset, go find the boy. Saga. On a unicorn. Froggy yep. and rose petals ride off into the distance, heading eastward to find Lucas. And that is where we are going to stop for tonight. And that is a wrap on Saga Bloom. Um, thank you all so much for being here with us tonight. Um, sadly, maybe not the last time ever, but continuously um, for the long run, um, Abby will be leaving us for a bit and it truly has been an adventure. Uh, mm -hmm. We have loved having you here and I think Saga and you as a person have been an amazing light in this party uh -huh. um, and this uh, group as a whole. And I can only hope that we run into Saga somewhere further down the line, which one can only hope is somewhere where she is very happy. I hope so too. <laughs> um, thank you all so much. We love getting to tell you guys a story that runs very, very late sometimes, but um, Saga deserved to ride away on a unicorn, in she my humble opinion. It. Um, yes. Here at the Dice Cult, uh, just to confirm, uh, here at the Dice Cult, Abby's not leaving us. Uh, no. she's, she's not leaving the Dice Cult. Um, no, silly gooses. But, um, but on Tuesdays, we have Legends of Thea, which is run by um, our dear friend Frank. Um, that is Tuesdays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Saga can, uh, Saga, oh no. Abby, can you <laughs> tell me about Wednesdays? Oh, of course. Um <laughs> Turn the horse around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I would be happy to. Um, well, uh, Wednesdays, we have a little show called Cordially Invited. See, I say that, but it's a it's kind of a bit of a lie because Cordially Invited has been paused for the mini episode uh, series thing that we're doing. Um, it's over on the Dice Cult YouTube channel. We play D&D &D 5e over there as well. And uh, currently we are doing a little... Uh, mini series of a bunch of high level wizards stuck in this crazy uh we did find out prison recently oh. sorry if that that might be a spoiler but it also doesn't give away a lot of things maybe you should watch because all of the episodes are up on the youtube for you to watch right now so you can catch up if you've missed them no um, excuses once we are uh completed with that we will go back to cordially invited where we try to have a wedding go well also D D. It's crazier than you think. Um, Much. That is 7.30 Central, uh, Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. I think this Wednesday we are off, but next Wednesday we are on, so you can catch up if you'd like to. But I play on there. Uh, you're interested. 
So if you're ever missing you know Abby, it's just a Wednesday away, you know? Yeah. Um, and on Saturdays, we have Vampire the Masquerade and The Last Remaining Light. Um, horrible ordeals for somebody, um, but overcome. It's, that. <laughs> it's, it's a bad time and we're all having a bad time. Um, <laughs> currently, um, Tyr, my character, who is all I talk about, so mm -hmm. sucks to suck, I guess. Um, I guess. Has recently made a new friend hmm. and maybe that friend won't arrest her for having a phone and killing another primogen these are the these are just the requests um but um i i think there's a blooming partnership here and there's a horde of old people zombies ready to rip them all apart and tear certainly doesn't have the hp left for that shit and um I mean, maybe she just has to suck it up it's no different than a shift in customer service oh yeah she's got it she's fine and hopefully the b team and maybe um the rest of the coterie will be there to save her because it's it's, it's rough now but that's mm. great um, that's what we love to see um use their legendary action <laughs> yeah, yeah oh no uh but uh we go live every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to keep up with us, we are at Backs of Gods on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to see some art, some NPC art, some lovely stuff by Abby, um, you can come check it out. We'd love to have you guys. Once again, we love telling you guys the story and we love having you here. Uh, even sometimes when the story is a bit sad, but um, we'll stay hopeful for reunions in the future one day. So thank you all. And we'll see you same time, same place next week, Monday at seven or nope uh at 8 p.m eastern standard time i don't know where i am um uh thank you all for being here and good night everybody good night